made a foolish mistake, said one in chat. Because I had a few sherbet lemons left from a few days ago when I was playing Gun um, uh, Dead by Daylight. I thought, I, a few, I, I burned my mouth a bit during dinner, and I thought, a few sherbet lemons, that'll, that'll soothe my mouth a bit. Cough sweets are basically just sweets with better marketing. So I had nice, so I had a few sherbet lemons. Now my whole mouth tastes to share but lemon. On the day of the poll. So I might have a slightly worse experience drinking this drink than is otherwise necessary. I'm also gonna have to keep chatting to everyone for at least like five freaking minutes because I'm a fool. Anyway, Panda Punch is not an option, but if you wish to vote... Oh wait, there is, there is Punch option, it's um, Guava. Uh, you're not going to win, though, because you have about until I finish this Sherbet Lemon. Until the poll elapses. Uh, <laughs> I, sh I should probably just... We're doing it live, you know, why not? I mean, to be fair, if you change your minds now, I will have to run downstairs to change the drink because I have the melon one in front of me. <laughs> Minerva, mean, you keep saying that, but um... This is just you lot trying to torture me and failing. Also, my viewer numbers are <laughs> quite blatant. God damn it. Number one, my viewer numbers are saying there's two people and there's at least four people. <laughs> Thanks, Twitch. Do it sure love ya. Here's the thing. If there's... I've just... I can't damn them both. I will die. I reserve the right not to die live on Twitch. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> cat. Look, here's the thing: you you talk about torture. Literally, all these drinks are torture. <laughs> There's no such thing. None of these energy drinks are going to be good, from what I can tell. Like, none of them are going to be as bad as the. <laughs> None of them is going to be as bad as that. Um, I never heard of a merge coffee cola, but if you, you, if I can get it, I will add it to the list. But the worst one I drank was that grenade energy drink, which um, was literally the worst thing I've ever drunk. Um, it was designed as an actual energy drink. Although the thing is, like, I did go on terrain quick. I swear I went through the site before, but look, they're actually trying to sell this as a proper fitness drink, right? Look, here's some people exercising. Here's this lady who is in a very uncomfortable pose. Here's a man shoving some things, but being absorbed by a glitch entity. Um, here's a bunch of people wearing masks, I guess. Also, this is happening. Um, the thing is, I went onto this page like, oh, I'll need to find what the product thing is, because I forgot that all they've got is just fucking nothing. <laughs> Here's the thing, I, I drank the lemon one previously and actually quite enjoyed it. Um, the grenade energy drink was actually designed to be like a workout drink, and it tasted horrible. I actually really liked the lemon one, like it just tasted of sherbet lemons basically. But I don't like melon. I'm also, I've never seen these two but I'm very worried about sour apple and whatever the fuck razzleberry is. Mm. 
the thing with the thing with protein stuff is, as I said at the time, you can conceal the flavour of protein stuff to make it taste nice, right? Like you don't have to taste make your protein drink taste horrible. Thanks, Pete. Um, but yes, the vote is ongoing until I finish my sweet, which I might start crunching on camera, like the disgusting mark to be Rebecca. Because, well, there I go. The chewing has started. Better get in quick before the crunch ends. God, this whole section is going to end up as the boss. Is right. Mm. I have a weird, weird thing about swimming products, but like, I understand the sort of appeal of them. My brother is kind of into working out and stuff. My friend is playing fantasy swimphobia. I'm jealous. I'm going to give it till the end of this mid- this is a- I'm worried about this poll because it's claiming it's only been going for 24 hours. But I left it on since... first day? In which it only gained two votes. More votes have happened in the past five minutes than have during the rest of the week. <laughs> y'all could've- y'all could've fucking swung it. But no. Four, five, four, three, two, one. The poll is over. Melon has won. Meaning it should be removed from the thing. Which will be starting again next Wednesday and hopefully not for <laughs> Cherry. Honestly, I thought Cherry would be the favourite. I thought own brand energy drink would probably win, in truth. <laughs> but yes. Stop stop telling me about things I could be watching. <laughs> anyway. Melomania is the refreshing taste of sweet juicy watermelon gone wild. I'm look, I've never found an own brand energy drink ever is the thing, Minerva, so I have no clue which one would be good or not. Anyway, just to prove I got it, get out of the way. here is what the rain can looks like. See how long my nails are. You can see the lack of anything worth reading on the back, which does kind of miss the point of this, but anyway, this week I brought a glass. Very grubby glass. I mean, I don't. Own brand energy drinks seem weird. Like, I would not expect. Own brand Coke, definitely. Um, own brand. Okay, it smells kind of nice. It's, again, a worryingly clear liquid. Drink it out of the glass, quick. It tastes like sugar. Yeah, no, it's just... It's just incredibly sugary. Like... It's kind of, I, I like it because I just like sugar. I think that might be why I, I, I last time it tastes like sweet. Now it tastes like sweets. Even with a load of like fucking sherbet lemons in my mouth. Like it still just tastes of sugar. I don't know what the dark water is, but anyway, you want to play a game? everyone because we're going to also i should turn on stream voice chat quick there we go you can see my face in the corner it's horrible <laughs> <laughs>
I, this is, again, I had a rain before and I like that one as well, which is why I'm surprised you all voted for it. Like, I like caffeine and sugar. Just, <laughs> you fools. <laughs> you fools. Oh, what the frick's happened to Disco Elysium? Um, there we go. Is that showing up good for everyone? Because I was have I did actually have time to set this up in advance for once, but I have no clue. Oh, it's <laughs> Panda, you didn't bet on punch. <laughs> okay, is it showing up when I? Oh God, sorry. No, the thing is, all of them are in the fridge right now. I have enough room for five drinks in the fridge, just about. Is Disco Elysium capturing, though? Because when I tab out, it doesn't show. But... It should be. Hmm. Yeah, is it just constantly bottom texting? Let's try getting it out. Put it in windowed mode. That's... Oh, jeez. No, windowed mode's going to be a pest to deal with. Well, you can see windowed mode, at least, but... Pop it back to full screen, and now it's working. Thanks, Disco. <laughs> anyway, I've been wanting to play this game for freaking ages. Like, I just have... I've seen bits of it. I haven't seen all of it. But I'm... Hmm. So the defaults are... Had with people very smart. Very good at talking to people. Unstable. <laughs> Punch boy. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I'm going to create my own, I think. Yes. Oh. Oh, I've realised something terrible I can do. Oh, I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight stats to distribute. Part of me wanted to make it, like, just like me. But... I think this game is actually quite critical of flight cops. I don't think it's a pro cop game by any means. Though I think art should be judged in its own merits, but still. However, I've just had a thought. Chat. Is it time to randomise another character on my first playthrough of a video game? Hmm. It's very tempting. Uh, I, I would do a poll, but I... You know what? No. Yeah, I'm doing a poll. Just to... Just to justify this to myself. Because otherwise I won't go through with it. I I really want I want to do good, like a fool of some sort. So... <laughs> oh, by the way, chat. Um, you you know you can. Oh, I've auto mod has told off meat for calling me a thought. <laughs> I. Good isn't really what I meant there. I meant, um, I kind of wanted it to be accurate to me as a character, even, well, me as a man who is also a cop, I guess, but 
the first place where I want to try and do this genuinely, I want to just do the choices that I would make. If that makes sense. Does it ban e-girl as well? No, I think I might have unbanned e-girl already, to be fair. Um, I am girl. Yes, we've we've found, we've proved this. But yeah, um, anyway, um, if you type slash help, it links you all the chat commands. If you want to, you know, know what you're actually doing in, in chat. <laughs> Look, watch, watch if I do this. Magic 8-Ball! <laughs> Make Streamlabs say things. Hmm. I don't think the queue's active, me. Um, and if it is, I will... I'm not sure if it should be active. I've left some commands in that I might use in future, but... Right now, I'm not using most of them. <laughs> What's Escalate? Wouldn't recommend it. Bog champ. <laughs> oh, I'm googling escalate. Um, escalate does not appear to be an English word. <laughs> Did you mean escalate, Manu? <laughs> because I'm a cop, I'm going to inevitably. Anyway, yeah, we voted for random. Yeah, that's about what I thought. <laughs> I will see how many people voted against it quick. Oh, uh, none of you. <laughs> I <laughs> no, I don't mean. Oh fuck! I forgot to turn on the caption bot. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let me just make sure caption bot's turned on. Testing, testing, testing. Please do a test on my my vest, friends. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I can add a reward queue to this. Hmm. I already did all those, I think. Um, I've broken the screen layout a bit. <laughs> Add <quote> taste. <laughs> Good. Good. The quote bot is what I wanted from this. <laughs> I've just had a thought. <laughs> I will be trying to remove any inaccurate quotes, but... Um, I don't have an, any real mods to moderate it apart from myself right now. This reminds me of a puzzle. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Apparently I can... I can do a lot of weird... I can see who's hosting me, apparently. I... Do I want to? Not really. That doesn't benefit me that much, in truth. But, um... Anyway, I can... I've got two windows that show me a reward request now. And I'm going to randomise it. I've been rambling for more time than I've been playing the game. <laughs> me... There's been no deaths yet. <laughs> Meat. I'm trying to type on a tablet using my keyboard. Yeah, I'm not sure you can actually get rid of deaths. Okay, first two rolls of the dice. One and four. Intellect. Motorix. Four and two. Yeah, this character's gonna be incredibly bland and possibly very weak. Two threes, never mind. <laughs> Random number generator, what have you given me? Um <laughs> Okay, so I'm not very smart, I'm kind of empathetic, I'm kind of average, and I can punch. Good. <laughs> I shouldn't have given you these powers. <laughs> I 
if you abuse my power chat, I will be forced to take it away. <laughs> when did I... Sorry, when did I have a... F I don't remember saying that. And I've been here the whole time. <laughs> oh no, it thinks that they're from this stream. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh wait, no, there was a... There's a random button right here. I could have pressed the random button. You know, I'm gonna randomize it again. Oh! <laughs> I'm now a genius. Random it again. Let's just, let's click through random a bit, see what comes up. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of smart and kind of agile, but I'm gonna go mad any second. I I like this one actually. Is it? I know that kind of misses the point of randomizing it, but like, <laughs> Minerva. I think I think I can remove quotes if required, but I don't know how right now. Woo! Sure. Oh, oh, this is going to be, is this going to be random as well? Okay. Oh, dear. Select your signature skill. You'll gain a plus one bonus. The learning cap for skill the same right away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, 23, 24. Okay. I have 24 potentials. Uh, let's just, I'm going to just use the phone for this one. That's the wrong pin code. I changed my pin code and I'm having to deal with it still. Roll 1d24. Roll a d24. No, don't add more dice. Go. Six. So my skill is visual calculus. I'm good at copying. I guess. I wish, sure wish I could have chosen this in hindsight. One. Ah, uh, one. Hydrate. Yes! The theories are at home in the Oh, I didn't say it. <laughs> there is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Nice. Ever. Oh. Never. Ever. Never. Ever? Ever? Never, ever, ever, baby. Okay. An inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Uh. Uh. Wait, what was that about the X something? An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle, soaking in some lurid acidic sauce. It's bloated and shameful, a ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. I know, I wanted to know about the X something. X home. <laughs> X tenderness. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you've suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Stay. Sail with me through the abyss of Elagic Zone. Hmm. Well, on the sea. Oh, what a golf now. I'm like a pain in the brain. I'm wanting things beneath my dog. 
don't want to give them to me. Oh. Oh. Now, I don't like this choice very much because my choice is between endless nothing and I like pain. And neither are too accurate to me. Do you really? I don't be naive, of course not. I want to sell the Inky Black to the No, I do, but get me off. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why'd you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not send yourself marinating? Poured so much over yourself. Got a bit carried away, did we, Shep? I don't care. I'm an idiot. A brave idiot. <laughs> oh, that's a funny one. Tell me what's waiting for. There's this giant ball there in evil apes. And the evil apes are juking it out on the ball. You're one of them. It's basically all just evil apes juking it out on a giant ball. Mood. How, how, how big's the ball? You can't even make out it's a ball when you're juking it out. It's that large. <laughs> How small are the apes? Infinitesimally small. And it's nuking out of here, Mel. What's that? Fine for resources. It's a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the other evil apes in the face. Or you lose. My brain is torn between role-playing and actually like I would say that's sad a cop would say let's go <laughs> hmm. no I said no because I'm gonna possibly do a second playthrough of this where I decide to be a bastard man so I'm gonna yes, stick with the it me is. For now. and you drowned in that sadness a long time ago Oh, oh, I can scroll. You're lost. The sound outside is it? It's a corpus. Kinema motor carriage. Oh. Oh, this is within terms of service, right? <laughs> I've, I've marketed myself for my terms of service compliance, you know? This magnum sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. What a shame, I want some. I'd like a drink. <laughs> this reel to reel tape player is still on, rolling empty. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. Can I? No, that just seems to be empty on my end. Oh, okay, got to see that I've got. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends are a tiny fan, the other end light pull. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Oh yeah, no, go for it. <laughs> you reach out to grab tides. What is diffused radiating chest pain? Doom comes over you. Ugh. This is bad. <laughs> Feels like sharp stones grinding the chest and keeping me from moving for quite a long time. Still ongoing. Now is a good time to start worrying. Finally, the pressure recedes. You find yourself covered in cold sweat, trying not to move, hoping it will keep you from dying. You know what you should do? You should stop the fan, and then try again. It'll get easier. Do it. If you want to die, the stabbing pain in your chest is telling you you're hanging by a thread here. The blade comes squeaking to a halt. To be grab it now. Oof, a terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You go back to the photons burning a hole in your brain. 
And success. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from the blade. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous necktie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. This hotel room sucks. <laughs> oh god, I didn't. Anyway, uh, good. I've put on my tie. For vivid imagination. The necktie is adorned with a girlish pattern. It's definitely vivid. So if you're wrong to take it off, it's your friend now. You'll betray it if you change it to some boring scarf. There needs to be a tape on this that was destroyed in a fit of rage. Something about the end of the single smallest church at San Sainz must have rubbed someone the wrong way. They also said the song was recorded in 43. Ooh, a coat. I shouldn't know, don't put on the coat, actually. Who needs clothes? You see bottles in the bathtub, wine, beer and sweet liqueurs. Boom. Boom, boom. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Hot water sprays from the base and steam covers of the mirror. You can't see yourself, just the outline of a man. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing underpants, Panda. He's not wearing American pants. Oh, am I being... How... Your reading is really low? What does that mean? Is that my volume or my... Um, I'm... I will... I don't know how to... Can I boost my volume any higher? Streamlabs is at maximum. Yay! Fuck. Okay. No, that's because I'm probably... Because I'm doing a voice. Suddenly you realise you have no memory of the face that awaits you there. Underneath the soft vapour. Is that better? I'm just getting closer. I might be just further from the microphone than usual or something. I'm not quite... Really? Nothing? Really, all recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you're in has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This... I looked at chat. Yeah, no, I think that's just how I get when I read, partly, but I'm going to have to go a bit more ASMR. <laughs> I thought I, I was trying to do a voice rather than muttering if I ah. I I have problems with volume control in truth um like I panda I can't if I this is I can't get any closer than this <laughs> Really, all recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you're in has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking, it was a deluge of world-ending proportions. Wipe the mirror. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. A bot. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you'll see there, and you'll never unbecome it. Maybe I should touch it first, make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. <laughs> Have we lost the tags? Um, the tags should be there. I set them earlier in the stream. No, they seem... No, my, my tags seem to be there still. That's weird. It just claimed I updated them. Did I not update my title earlier? Because... Mm, <sighs> yeah, there's definitely something wrong with it. What's, how, bad, how bad could it be? I have to begin. There's the bloatedness, then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. I'm sure everything's fine, touch your nose. It's not. Your nose feels like a balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. Doesn't appear to be a particularly small nose either, not with all the drinks it absorbed for you. Hmm. Huh. Odd. Yeah. It could be just Twitch being dumb. Twitch is very Twitch is awful. 
out. <laughs> also, I like I can't my my profile picture is all blurred because I haven't seen myself yet. That's a cute little touch. At least my tongue is okay. Touch your tongue. It's not. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. I'm wipe. I want to stop doing this or wipe the mirror now. I'm wiping. <laughs> the, the true horror. <laughs> that's very. That's very odd, Mika. I'm not sure why that's happening. Um. I mean, you can try refreshing the page, maybe, but I, I really don't know. It won't change much. You can still get the same stream, presumably. I have no idea who this thing is. Do you? Um, uh... <laughs> Dear Lord, help me, what is this? <laughs> this is the face of a late-stage alcoholic. Or, Of course, there's some, some kind of superstar. I, I think I'm a superstar. Um, Yeah, Dear Lord, help me was most accurate to my actual response. I mean, it's neat. It's, at least it's dead now. There's clearly rigor mortis in your face. Oh, wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? I'm I'm not making it. The face is making it itself. <laughs> Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. <laughs> oh, God, you can't stop. It's like it's not involuntary anymore. You've worn that grin onto your face. Now it won't come off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it really wants me to think I'm a superstar. That's quite fun. Mm. So I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I've. Hmm. I don't know. It's indescribable. It's like it's supposed to be a smile, right? Hmm. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. No, no. Expression of pain. <laughs> <laughs> the non-beard. An insinuation that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off too in a sad has been kind of way. There is some charm to it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there might have been ten years ago. It's a little more than a cadaver spasm now. Dig deep or attempt to stop it from happening. Okay, these are retribal. Like the rest of you, it comes from a bad place, somewhere in the past. That's all you know for now. It's too late, like an image in a film. The expression belongs to your primary motor cortex. It would take a minor neurological miracle for you to cease producing it. <laughs> Here we... Oh, there's a door. Can I... Interact with the door? No, I can't. Oh, a shirt. No, you... Sir, you take that off right now. We're not a shirt wearer in this house. <laughs> Flat. Disco ass blazer. Oh god, just wearing the blazer and no shirt. Except no. This white satin shirt used to be fancy. Used to really catch the light. Now it smells like someone took a piss on the armpits. Looks like someone skinned this blazer off some long extinct disco animal. Has an enigmatic white rectangle on the back and right sleeve. These golden brown trousers are flare cut. Normal belly bottom trousers would be booth cut, but these are far from normal. They are someone's piss soaked, cum stained party pants. <laughs> oh, I've invested. I found a crime scene to investigate. Bro window stands broken, it's framed. Cold wind blows in. Assess the damage. The shards face outwards. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Did I break it with my own hands? A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. Then what? What did this then? M more likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Assess the size of the impact. 
<laughs> it's too small, large for a bullet. Yeah, too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist, like the green shoe that's on the hat rack in the corner, which coincidentally is missing its friend. Congratulations! You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you have one. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. Maybe it wasn't me. You mean somebody else took your shoe off and smashed the window with it? This person also forced the drinks in you, on you. I don't need it. I don't need anyone. <laughs> the window agrees. Its cracked smile is cold and sparkly. Well, I've, I've got, I found my shoe. Take it, green shoe, left foot. This green crocodile leather shoe has a high heel and chrome embellishments. It fits your left foot perfectly. Now all that remains is to find the other shoe. <laughs> Why are you? Why is everyone convinced I? throw babies out of windows that seems unlikely I'm also I'm gonna I'm gonna look out as well the moonlight hurts your eyes it's hazy but you see the oceans and water on buildings okay yeah nothing worth it I'm just gonna quickly like I'm gonna re oh what are you oh worlds fail to describe how rank it smells in here they should have sent a poet but yeah I'm gonna see if I can do these again actually. Let the mirror be for now. Can I? Now I was going to be nude the whole time, but I can just briefly put my clothes on. Look at me, I look like a teacher. <laughs> and now you hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of flare cut pants. It says whirling in rags on the autumn key ring. There's a single key on the ring. The number one is extra. You should open the door. Yeah, I was thinking if I boosted them, I might be able to, you know, actually adorned with the expression. <laughs> but yeah, I was thinking. I was thinking. I'm thinking perhaps that if you, like a normal human being, of course, um put your clothes on maybe you'd have more more luck in getting out of this room oh it's a double bathroom that's why it's locked it's like a shared bathroom wow well, i'm surprised that didn't click on for me anyway it's time to leave my room it's Parker, 90 centigrade okay i, I here i am hello officer oh Oh, I'm a cop. <laughs> the cab said it's March. The year is 51. Almost time for the 60s. Clastion. This orange disco dancer. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. O officer? Am I military personnel? Uh, no. She seems perplexed by your question. Wait, I know, I'm a businessman. Chief Executive Officer, right? The woman shakes her head slowly. Okay, Chief Technical no, Officer? No, you're a you're... police officer, sir. I... You're shitting me. I'm not. <laughs> Unless you've been shitting us all this time. Well, this time? You've been here for three days on official police business, Noah. And what business is that? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? <laughs> Who in their right line would let me be an officer of the law? <laughs> don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good game, good game. <laughs> Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Could it be because of the drinking? She raises an eyebrow. The cigarette sizzles. She hasn't had time to put her makeup on. This is her morning cigarette. She looks tired, her beauty waning faster than it ought to at her age. 
I'm not going to do that. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. I'd, I'd like to think they don't like the police anywhere. Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Caught an instinct, a need. They need to ask questions. It's like you've said the words a million times before. She looks back at you, her light glinting. What if I don't want to ask questions? I do. I do. I'm a, I'm a b detective. Before you go, I have some questions for you. Yes. What is it that they have against the police here? The dock workers are pretty cocky. They think they're police enough. At least here on the coast, I can't say about the rest of the city. <laughs> detective. <laughs> What exactly is here? Where am I? You're in a hostel, sir. No, where are we in the world? We are in Revachol. Revachol. Revachol is a disgraced former capital of the world, divided into zones of control under foreign occupation half a century after a failed world revolution. She is central to our movement in time. Okay. Hmm. Patriotism, denial. How about you tell me something else instead? <laughs> yeah. My issue is I want to see all the dialogue choices, but I don't want to make some of the choices yet. Is it 51 now? It's 51. What century? The current century. And what's... That's what? What number? Centuries don't have numbers. They have names. And this is the current one. How many centuries have they been then? Civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. <laughs> she grins. What's so funny? You're right, expression turns serious. There's nothing funny about civilization. <laughs> your, your room is almost next to mine. Did you hear anything last night? There was the usual ruckus. She like shrugs. Loud disco music. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Why do they want to listen to disco? What are you, a fucking... <laughs> I've forgotten what the mods and rockers thing was. I wasn't alive for that. <laughs> it's a very hard game. Oh. Do I have any visitors? I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. She's not sort of in three. Loud disco music? Oh yes, various artists. Ostentatious orchestrations prime among them. She raises an eyebrow, waiting for the name to connect with you. <laughs> I'm not wearing flares, meerkat. <laughs> I'm wearing nothing but a shoe and a tie. Oh, that, yeah. Ooh, that's about oh, oh, the better. Oh, oh, well, huge, where I come from. I was very young then, of course, like... Seven. Life gets life gets hard, she sings. But we go on <laughs> Yeah, we go on, alright. I don't know about that. It was about two o'clock, the disco stopped and there was a change of pace. What happened? A slow sad song started playing, like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of the time you were yelling along to it? Was I singing along to this show at the empty case? Yes, there was a church in there. A really small church, like the smallest, saddest church in the whole world. It was about that, and also, what else? That doesn't matter anymore. That we are alone now? And that we are alone now. It was difficult to tell. The sound itself, the song itself was very quiet and soft, but you sound like a wounded boar, sir. It was hard to understand what he was seeing on top of it. <laughs> they say wounded. Do you mean like in a cool way? Like a wild beast? Yes. It was very cool. It's impossible to say whether she's being sarcastic or really means it. <laughs> <laughs> then what happened? <laughs> then he started screaming and trashed the place. Are you sure I wasn't being assaulted? No, it didn't sound like there was a fight. It sounded like someone was trashing their room. A window was smashed, the tape player, probably the song, stopped, and furniture too. A real destructor on 
think there was screaming. And then I think he passed out. Please tell me there wasn't anything else. <laughs> there was. I think he screamed that you didn't want to, to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then, around four or five. And that was it. Okay, you can go now. Glad to have been of assistance. I do. I love that the way this game has taught you to play the game is a few small things. The oh, she left a nice long stub in the ashtray and it's still smoking. That implies that she maybe would have stayed out here if a nude man hadn't shown up. <laughs> Yeah, like, um, oh, can I knock on my neighbor's door? I want to, no, I haven't met my neighbor yet. Miracles under control, 10 centigrade, black eyes warning. Maybe I should shut my door. Shut, maybe, yeah, that would be a good idea, huh? Don't want to let anyone get into my house, you know? There's something on the table. Money. Money gained. Real. Mm. That's fair, Minerva. Put a shirt on, detective. That's <laughs> all. The smell of the sea makes you dizzy. Hey, a shoe! A gust of briny wind washes over you. Finally, shoes. I've I've been told that my girlfriend, when playing this, found one shoe, the outside shoe, but not the inside one, which is very funny to me. Maybe some noises. They might have lost some of the luster over the years, but these green crocodile leather shoes fit you perfectly. Awesome watchtower heels, but you <laughs> they're ridiculously high. Secret task complete. Find your other shoe. Gain experience. Ten. There they both are. Two identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin, reunited on your feet. Like two baby crocodiles. I... These do not look these do not look like normal cop shoes. It's pretty clear a normal cop is not what you are. But they fit. Good. They're balanced, comfy. Feels like one the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. Okay, so yeah, it's like, okay, so if you boost your things, maybe you'll be able to get some of the things that you can do again. I'm going to try not to save scum in this game too much. I'm not saying I won't ever, but... I'm, I think I'm going to try and live with my consequence on the first playthrough at least, because that feels in the spirit of it. But I am going to do stupid shit still, because of course I am. Here I go, walking down the street. It's me, detective asshole. Do -ba -do -do. Oh god, I can run. This is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper, Trompe de Monde. I apologise if I don't say French things correctly. Not there French prayer rings a bell. Strange. Is that a picture of John Luke Picard? <laughs> I could talk to her, but I think I think I've I've discussed enough, perhaps, so far. Oh. Apparently, yeah. I know that I know spoilers a little bit from seeing people play it, but Oh dear, what did I lose when the chat died? Big old kakiraki mic, just waiting for someone to sing into it. This is where the lyrics would be. The 
speaker is connected to the radio. It is seasoned with static. You should totally sing karaoke here the first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know of your vast oceanic soul. My soul's con cubic content is obscured by the hangover. Of course, at this point, precise measurements of your soul can only be performed from the outside. It needs to be heard to a PA system by other people. What should I sing when it comes to it? You should sing a, a sad small church song from that tape you found. I thought it was obvious. Of course. Oh, oh, ooh, do I sing the embarrassing song or this or the one that's probably made me have a breakdown? Breakdown! Serves them right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic... S oh, oh, pardon me. <laughs> this is why you don't drink energy drinks while ASMRing. Serves them right. Wipe that smirk off their face with your sad, tragic, small church song. Who's laughing in hell? <laughs> no one. You would need a copy, another copy of the tape first, though. The one upstairs is destroyed. Yeah, that's a shame. Well, gotta find a song on tape without you. Hey, friend! The man in his late twenties stands behind the counter, expecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. Everything is cool between you and this guy. He's a big fan. Make some small talk. <laughs> I, I love that it's just... Look at the stuffed bird. The competent work of taxidermy, the white and brown seabird lies among the pi among piles of coasters and drying mugs. That was a weird way of pronouncing that. One of its wings broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used that was used to mount it. Most likely on a wall. This is the great skua. The seabird is the symbol for discovery on ins ins in Insulindian Insulidian Isola, the part of the world you're in right now. The small steel tag says as much. The Great Skua. Sectora Skua. <laughs> That's the Great Sewer, right? <laughs> Look, your buddy is over there. Look, your buddy's over there. He looks at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? What do you mean, my buddy? He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. Are you, are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. He's very animated all of a sudden. This seems like a touchy subject. What's the difference? I have three cafeterias to manage. Three. Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. He's not the bartender, then. Why does this... Oh, wait a second. Did his title change? Did it always say the cafeteria manager? Or am I going... Am I gaslighting myself? <laughs> Where did this Sylvie go? She just... You know. He shrugs. His eyes dart from left to right. This man isn't lying, but he is hiding something. She just... What? So now you're a cop? Forget it. I... I... Okay. <laughs> Sock him in the jaw to change his accent. <laughs> the menu has been wiped clean. Only the word Monday is written on it. A woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu. Today starts with a man's handwriting. Oh, I... I love how the, I'm glad I got the detective one because I'm loving seeing like this detective detailing stuff, like just noticing stuff. I love the sort of attention to detail style thing. Use your cop size and sort of man fit in. Look, we can murder a man later. It'll be fine. The soft purr of an electric juicer comes from the kitchen. Someone is working. Inside, you catch a glimpse of the Union paraphernalia, a strike poster, some red pennants. Ooh. And some money that I can't reach. I'm a cop. I can go in here if I want to. 
The door is bolted. The sign reads, Kitchen reserved for personnel until 1300. 1300, I should probably say. Ooh, fire extinguisher. Or not. <laughs> Where, where's the item I just stole? In a completely legal cop way. <laughs> Thanks, Minerva. Oh, I guess maybe that just... Oh, I see. The health items are held here. Okay. Oh, I guess I can just... Summer door closed for the winter. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought that it would be stored in the items because I'm not used to this game yet, but yeah. A bottle of rum has been knocked over. Beautiful dark liquid is spilling out. That sugary black rum stay on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? Hmm. Hmm. An hour? Sweet lord, a whole hour? You haven't thought about rum and lemonade in all that time? You've truly extinguished all trace of yourself. Excuse me, about all this time. Mm. She, should I be thinking about this? Looks like this looks like drinking hasn't turned out too well for me. Maybe you haven't turned out well for your drinking. Have you thought about that? Get a goddamn rum and lemonade in yourself, boy. Or better yet, lick that stain off the counter. Hmm. I'm thinking... Hmm. Only a little bit. You lick it, but only a little. Only with the tip of your tongue, because you're, you're a pleasure delay. After two or three licks, the crust begins to melt and her sweetness breaks loose. The sharp, titillating scent of alcohol rises to your nostrils. It's dizzying. You could definitely go for some more. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh no. Um. Ah dear. <laughs> Hi friend. Do you know where to get some alcohol? A man is sleeping at the table wearing mud caked boots and rolled down overalls. The back of his shirt wheel reads Wild Pines, encircled by a logo with a tree. A colourful piece of plastic is dangling from his carabiner. Hmm. Make your fingers talk. Counter rolled up his open hand, you see a blister pack of headache medicine. Could wake him up. Could pick up the pills. Could inspect. I'm gonna inspect the carabiner. It's a dock worker's ID, doubling as a shift card and a job permit. A young, able bodied man stares back at you from the photo. Santiago S. John. Hmm. The man does not mind. You probably need them more than he does. Good, I've got some magnesium. That'll give me a better head. I have no reason to steal his ID. And I know it's a video game, but like, you know, probably should steal things with a purpose, you know, rather than just stealing them for fun. Unless I'm playing Stealing Simulator, the stealing game. A sign reads mess hall, reserved for union members, doors open, 1600. I love my brain needs to get used to 24 hour clocks. Consider <laughs> you're a cop. This royal pinball machine is unplugged. Boo, I want a pinball. Come on, talk to that lady. Hello, sweetie. Hell yeah, Lena the cryptozoologist wife. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. Or or she won't talk to me? Spectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot to the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. you. As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. On the sleeve of his bomber jacket, as well as on its back, are the same enigmatic white rectangles on your blazer. Shake his hand. Hello. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, 
Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. I'm not doing Kim's accent. <laughs> yeah, but I will attempt to give him a sort of formal voice. He realizes he's waiting for your name. Ooh. 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 Oh, I'm torn. No, this is the funny one. Concentration makes your, you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming in the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps close to it, but there is still need to go. It is not time okay, yet. Okay, then. <laughs> he processes the information, then disregards it. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? He's kind of got a bit of a French accent, actually, I think. I'm trying to... I'm trying to... I, can't, I won't be able to do it anyway. What he means is he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. You mean him? Yeah, I just talked to him. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interview? Why interviews? At the 57, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest. And then just skim the surface. Prepare the field, get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. I have not. Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Hmm. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Dead, dead body? Mm -hmm. I don't like dead bodies. Sure, but did you take it down from the tree? But man, you know, it, yeah. Does that mean the body is no longer in the tree? No. So the body <laughs> is still in the tree. <laughs> where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. What if I told you I'm not really a police officer? We all feel that way sometimes. There's no such thing as a police officer, I'm afraid. What remains is that there is a dead body in a tree. Someone has to figure out who will put it, who put it there. If we don't, no one else will. And then, soon after, dead bodies will be dangling from all the trees. But, but first, we have to take it down. How, how can you be so sure I'm from the police? I was to meet a detective from Precinct 41 at the Whirling in Legs, who arrived here three days ago. I'm told that is how long you have been here, besides your matches description. What description? Precinct 41 said they were sending their most seasoned detective, and you certainly look unseasoned. What if I have an uncanny doppelganger? You may have murdered the man I was supposed to meet, and now impersonating him. You may even be his twin, stepping in from an even more incapacitated brother out of loyalty and love. But for now I'm going to set those bosses to his side. I'm not from the Inspector General. Inspector General means internal affairs. What he's saying is he's not from the rat squad, and he isn't supposed to suspect such things. <laughs> ah, you mean the rat squad? <laughs> No need for derogatory terms, they're only doing their job. Fuck you, Kim, they're cops. <laughs> Regardless, I will also suggest you rotate your blazer with your... Actually, no, to be fair, the Rat Squad are the one sort of cop that keeps cops in line, so actually, no, I should probably be more forgiving. I suggest you locate your blazer with your official insignia. Both the rectangles as you see, but they're just white rectangles. They have not just white rectangles. They bear a halogen watermark with the letters RCM and a pattern resembling the street grid of Rash Hall West. I can step in the headlights of my kinema, kinema and show you, but right now I just need you to do your job. But shouldn't I have a badge or something? Check your undies. You mean you don't have a badge? It was not on me when I woke up. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. Um, my vehicle has a shotwave. You should, you can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to locate it as quickly as possible, but getting the body down should, should still take precedence. 
Oh, that's a good call, Reganomicon. Good, yeah, that the literally has the halo effect. Meanwhile, I'm down here looking like that. <laughs> I should look for that sort of thing, actually, because I wasn't looking for sort of visual stimulus like that. But yeah, he's Kim is quite clearly lawful good from what I've gathered. I have an aura. Um, that could mean many things, though. And <laughs> shocking. Yeah. All right, come on. Now, if he hasn't said anything about your lacquer pants, no one will. You're only hurting yourself by not wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> Volition, I'll fight you. <laughs> but I can't remember anything. He looks at you for a moment in silence. I can see you drank last night and the night before, and that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through much worse. M much worse. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. What are we supposed to do again? Talk to the manager, then we go out back and take the body down. Okie dokie, let's go. After you, officer. Lieutenant Kim Kutsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by clicking on him. I have a friend now. I also have... Oh dear. Oh dear. My missions have a, a real combination, don't they? Hello again, sweetie. I see you met up with your colleague. She looks at the lieutenant. The lieutenant nods politely. Wait, who, who's sweetie? The... the <laughs> who's sweetie? Why? You are, officer. Hmm. Maybe I am? And have you found anyone to be sweet to? I... Um... Is this lady labelled as the cryptozoologist's wife flirting with me? I'm done with mating ritual this time around. I don't know, maybe I have. I had once winked twice and then I lost her. <laughs> I had once, but then I lost her. What was that fucking with the fuck? What was with that fucking wink? Seemed neurological. Central nervous system's really banged up. <laughs> <laughs> Do nothing with neurology as proof. Stop winking. I see you are still grieving. <laughs> Tap yourself on the side of the head. I see you are grieving. I won't cry. She's nice. Jackney, play new heed to the inexplicable winking. <laughs> you must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained, I completely forgot to introduce myself. Hmm. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. Hmm. So, I don't know if I don't know where I am or what I'm doing or anything. I just follow you to. Yes, officer. You look rather dazed, like a stunned fox, but surely things can't be that bad. I hope you're right, it's not too bad. You know where we are, right? Oh. <laughs> We're dead, haunting each other. We're ghosts. <laughs> By the, the Whirling Rags Cafeteria is on my keys. That's right. Where's the Whirling Rags Cafeteria located? In... In hell, we're all in hell. <laughs> I love this stupid man. <laughs> in Revacol? Yes, indeed. In the fine city of Revacol. Revacol is the disgraced capital of the world. Somewhere like that? Yes, great. See, we're getting somewhere. What else do you know about our city of splendor? Tatters as she may be. Oh, I don't know. Did he score about Revacol? What kind of place is this? Oh, I'm, I am mumbling a bit, I'm realising. Her eyes widen. How would I even begin to tell you? Revacol is the most beautiful city in the world. We are fortunate to be here, you know. I haven't seen much in many other cities personally, but everyone says so. Revacol is a rare jewel, so it used to rule the world. Though it has seen better days. 
a pause just to lose the expression. You must look quite lost. You must look quite lost. Speaking of history, you know what year it is, yes? Spring of 50... Oh. Bad year in my late 40s or 50s. I don't know how old I am. No, <laughs> approaching the end times. <laughs> okay. Definitely going for a shit post run after <laughs> at some point. Spring of 51. That's right, dear. How splendid. Here, take this pen. Knowledge should always be rewarded. Her relief is palpable. She's getting pretty worried about you there, but now she relaxes her soldiers. Shoulders. I can tell the taxi for you. I'll just ask one more. What regime are we living under? What mode of government? I will definitely, if I do a second run of this where I'm a complete bastard horrible person, I will be streaming it, but under very specific, like, I will probably have on the screen, do not replicate this fascist bastard or something like that, because I'm very curious about the answer, the options that no one else will pick, but I don't want to be held responsible for them, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, like, yeah. I'm definitely going to play this as I would to start with. And I will pick funny answers because I would pick funny answers thing. Cop. We are living under the cop regime. Radios are being used to control people's minds and distort our perception of reality can see our true masters, foreigners and women. Yeah. Five. Five is definitely the option I'm picking on the ship, but on the, on the shitty man run. Intelligent machines that pull calculations just them the freest market. The freest market! Everyone hustles and grinds like a badass visionary. And these are fierce warriors who traverse the plains in st on steeds. Civilization cowers before us. I'd like to think it's ever dictated to the proletariat, but something tells me it's not. Specifically, dictatorship of the proletariat is a thing um, that's getting me. Because I want, I want this man to be a big old Marxist. But I don't want him to be in favour of dictatorship. Hmm. Consider them to spread the option. Yeah, I kind of get that. There's going to be limits to any game. And it's worth acknowledging them, even when it's a game that does a really good job of giving you good choices. Yeah, I'm going... Oh, well, sweetie. She smiles a sad smile. It's really not. But you should have thought that way. Other people who wanted those things, but... They all went extinct. We have our st we all have our Stalin's face. <laughs> all is a strong word, but I get you. <laughs> yes, six options is way better than most games. Still, um, what do we call this like, zone of control led by an alliance of foreign powers called the Coalition? We have almost no government of our own, and certainly no dictatorship of the proletariat. Hmm. Okay, so we're... This country is under the control of foreign powers. Hmm. Where is it going? But they still have cops. There's no government. How come there are cops? Oh dear. She shakes her head, suddenly very worried. And you were doing so well. There aren't any cops in Rivercole. Not in the traditional sense. The status of law enforcement has been a complicated matter since the revolution. But we should stop for today, sweetie. You look like you need a break. Besides, I'm not the best person to explain the big things to every to anyone. She's scared now. She's realised you really are brain damaged. What is the revolution you mentioned? A defeat, I'm afraid. Some people in this archipelago tried to build something new, something different. The rest of this of the world didn't like it, so they came and ended it. This was forty two years ago. Hmm. Okay, sorry, did I take dictatorship the proletariat too literal? Yet again, I do actually need to get around to reading some things. <laughs> like, I don't have time to read much. I actually have a reading list somewhere of books I'm going to get to. It's a nightmarish hellscape. I tend to focus on fiction as well because that's kind of my trade. Hmm. Oh, I see. Marx maybe shouldn't have done that because that's bad marketing. <laughs> Look, if if somebody says dictatorship of the proletariat, I hear the dictatorship part because I'm a dumbass. 
Maybe, maybe use a different term, Karl Marx. <laughs> Minerva, please. Please, don't call me a centrist. <laughs> My children. <laughs> Karl Marx wrote long form shit posts. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> That gives me more respect for him in a way, but in another way, really, you 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 gotta make marketing is important when doing these sorts of things. You have to get people on board somehow. Not that you should always focus on marketing above everything else, because that's what you end up with. That's when you end up with that sort of centrist garbage. Oh, just word it nicely. Oh, if you're gonna kill people, don't call it a concentration camp. Then we can't get mad at it. Oh, woo. F fuck that. Fuck that shit. But... <laughs> Welcome to Discourse Elysium, everyone. <laughs> but... <laughs> Minerva, please redact it, call me. Yeah, again, marketing is hard. You can sometimes get way more attention by being that person who says stupid shit like that's basically my whole that's been my whole streaming career but so far but <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes it's it's a hard discussion you do need to do marketing well but then being a giant shit post is a sort of marketing it's a that's a whole topic i shouldn't be getting into this because i'm bad at politics I just vaguely understand things sometimes. Yay! Yeah, anyway, yeah, we lost the revolution. What does that have to do with there not being any cops? It has something to do with everything. I really don't know how to explain it better. So, how did I do? You were doing quite well up until the end there. It does look like you're having history remembering, trouble remembering things. History in places, remembering reality in a world, it's very odd. A sigh, the lieutenant buries his nose in his book, notebook. But maybe a fresh set of eyes is what this world needs. And while I'm no doctor, such bouts of amnesia are often temporary, so I wouldn't worry too much. Hmm. Yeah, Minerva, you're completely right. Like, being a shitpost is how a lot of, like, right-wing clowns have been getting power, like... They people seem to like 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 Donald Trump. He's a big old fucking clown, but people like his honesty. Like he feels like he's saying what he wants to most of the time, rather than what a lot of politicians do, which is lie through their teeth constantly. <laughs> and even though he's a right piece of shit, he's saying the right piece of shit things that he actually means. And I understand that, even if I think he's a detestable, nasty shit man. Um, and Boris, in particular, has very much become using the plausible denial to build him, like Sad Mortal says. Like, oh yeah, no, like, I'm talking about perception. These people definitely still lie, but they are perceived as saying that sort of stuff. Like, Boris Johnson definitely lies constantly. He definitely willfully makes quote-unquote mistakes. Like, his bus thing. Like, the guy has made so many bus-related fuck-ups that he had to make another one to cover it up in the news during election season. Which is fucking ridiculous. I mean, again, it could be. The thing is, I can't tell if it was deliberate. He might just be a weird bus man. It's impossible to tell for sure. <laughs> Don't sue me, Boris Johnson. <laughs> but... But yeah, the dude has plausible liability on things, so he can do things which look like stupid or woo fuck ups, when really he's just actually trying to kill all the poor people. He claims he makes buses out of cardboard, but you'd think if that was his hobby, he'd be better at making London's transport good, which was his first bus fuck up, which is that he made bendy buses all over London when he was the mayor. Uh, his second bus fuck up was the Brexit bus, which had a load of lies on it. <laughs> Very important to say, the the other two fuck-ups are much more genuinely serious than the, the bullshit story that he came up with. 
unless he really did. It it's really hard to tell. Boris, what? What the fuck? How? This man is a genuine idiot. Like even his, even when he's not trying to be an idiot, he's the thing is he's both using his idiocy to cover for his true maliciousness and also a genuine fucking idiot. I'm not playing the game anymore. Who could tell me more? <laughs> Someone more educating, sweeping matters. Maybe she'll ask. She turns to the lieutenant. No, he looks away. I'm not an encyclopedia. I wouldn't be a guide either. I'm a detective. Of course, she turns to you. Then I don't know someone rich. Maybe wealthy people are educated, though. Don't know who would find a wealthy person in Martinez. That's a good point. This doesn't look like a like rich central. Oh, bloody heck. Of course, of course he fucking did. Jesus. Yeah, um... <laughs> Okay, I'm getting off track. I'm trying to focus. I should be focused on the game. But, um... Oh. Where's my brain gone? Am I stupid enough to say either of... How do you like to roll with me? Is that a... I think that's a sex thing. I'm not going to say that. You seem to be in a chair. I don't think even a man who'd lost his memory should be that inconsiderate. I've got to get going now. Of course, dear. Good luck with your case. She gives you a small wave. Okay, so I've gained a pen. A pen with a green ape head on one end. The ape has closed its eyes. A kind expression adorning its face. It seems to be meditating. Can I, can I hold my pen? I cannot hold my pen. Sad face. <laughs> Invite them. <laughs> Please stop trying to cuckold a woman in the first five minutes. I'll be doing that on the evil playthrough. Um, <laughs> forbidden mod. Anyway, yeah, so it's like, you have no idea who you are. Yes. But yeah, I think that the central thesis statement of the game is this. That because he is a blank slate, he can explore this world. And as you, the player, can also explore this world through your lens. The thing is, as the player, you are not a blank slate. You have memories of how politics are in your world, by comparison to this one. Um, which means that you have to have the options to choose different political leans and such, because the real people will have that sort of thing. And that's really interesting. Cryptid would... <laughs> Why? First, God, how long have I... Oh my God, I've been playing this for a long time. This game does not feel as long as it is, which is a great sign. The man the man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops a ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mr. Gart, right? The lieutenant you glances... You run this place. The lieutenant glances into his little notebook. Yes. He responds tersely. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. This is an inter-district investigation, so joining me from Prison 41... Looks at you. Realizing he doesn't know your name. The Harbinger of Ruin. What is golden orange like a forest fire, but it's like liquor? I'm currently in between names. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like when you've left your band, but you haven't decided on a solo name yet. That's wonderful. Rarely I think so, but there's a dead body out there. No one wants to work in these conditions. It's been a week. Mm. Sir, I understand your concern, but we are here to do a job. And for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. Yes, of course. He takes a step back. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene, but it also took you a while to call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily checking over her duties. Yeah, you really like saying that, don't you, mate? <laughs> do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. He looks behind a pile of coasters, finds a slip of paper and hands it to the lieutenant. This sounds like something you can use to call this Sylvie later. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What? Of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. 
This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I met. God, this voice actor is really good at making me hate this fucking prick. But you still know your way around, <laughs> yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are. But as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. God, what? I didn't imply that. He turns to Detective. Steve. Oh, I timed that really well, by accident. I keep forgetting he's gonna... He probably means this is where you step in and ask your questions. Right then, questions. I got this. His face expressed profound doubt in your having this. Where exactly is the body? Behind this building there is a courtyard. He points to the kitchen behind him. They hoisted it up on a tree there. How do we get there? That's easy. You see that door there? He points to the west. First you exit through that, and you'll turn right. You should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need to pick the keys. The hole is big enough for the Frank Horgerian cavalry to fit through. Who killed him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. Fuck this man. <laughs> I'm just, these guys are so smarmy I'm losing viewers and I love that <laughs> doesn't know he just said they hoisted him up on a tree who is this they did you kill him what are you, are you crazy of course I didn't kill him the way you said they hoisted him up on a tree who do you mean by they oh He's a bit surprised you caught that. People are saying it was the Union dog workers, that it was a lynching. Who exactly is saying that? The locals, the customers, people who eat here. A lot of dog workers eat here. So if he told me, everyone knows the dog workers did. Did the Dubois themselves tell us this, or is it a rumour? I don't really know, you'll have to ask her. Why did the dog workers lynch this man? I would suppose it's because they have nothing better to do. It means a strike. Yes, the strike. He makes little quotation marks with his fingers. The man they hanged was a security guard for Harbour Community Company, I hear. A mercenary. The Unionists probably thought they'd send a message. Ugh, gosh. Being this man is painful. <laughs> Why did Sylvie go away? Have you asked me that already? What is with you and this woman? She has nothing to do with this. No, before I asked you where, now I'm asking you why she left. Okay, you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back. Because I asked for her number. That's why Sylvie went away. I hope you appreciate that. The lieutenant opens his new little notebook and took the cover. The number is safely tucked away in a small pocket. Thank you, he says. Mystery solved! Is it? Because I thought you were supposed to be investigating the lynching and not my employee conduct. <laughs> this stuff gets on my nerves. I am a feminist. <laughs> I guess I have to be thorough. Nothing to do with everything. You know, I just went for it. This stuff gets on my nerves. I am a feminist. Well, that's right. If there's one thing I know about myself, it's that I'm a total raging feminist. <laughs> Do you have a phallus in your ear? I said I'm a feminist. <laughs> uh, you heard me. I'm not a feminist. I just want to look on your face. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going with phallus here. Thought gained. Inexplicable feminist agenda. Fuck yes. <laughs> That's, that's good, but is there a timetable for this investigation? Dictated to us by the stages of incompetition. And, and it says we need to move on. You just got a thought. Click on the thought cabinet button below to explore it further. Oh, there's a lot of these. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'm going to just try and find them naturally. Except some kind of superstar, which I'm definitely going to try and get. That seems fucking amazing. Um... Inexplicable feminist agenda. Plus two authority against men. Fuck yes. Something stirs in you. Something interdisciplinary. 
Is it a newly formed reaction to the tyrannical gender roles around you, or something you've always had? One thing is for sure, you're not a mild feminist. Oh no, these are incendiary thoughts aimed at undermining the very pillars of society. Could you fashion them into some sort of weapon, perhaps? A first strike weapon to decapitate the XY chromosome hegemony. That's not how, that's trans rights. Anyway. <laughs> Thought time. It's time for feminism. Do you have a dick in your ear, everyone? <laughs> oh Jesus! Who made the core report in the crime? We can call her on Kim Shortway for tonight. That's all. Let's go. Not so fast, Mister Feminist. You pointed to you owe me for one hundred thirty real. What's real? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm slipping away unnoticed. <laughs> You owe me money. Run! As you blow this joint behind you, a whiny voice shouts. Real mature, man. Real mature. <laughs> <laughs> fucking A+. Plus. A fucking plus. <laughs> I love this game. This is so good. I'm going to do a quick save. Um... I'm going to put it on the this save because I didn't do much. Yeah. What's he going to do? Call the cops! <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do a quick BRB because I need to buy a break. But, um, I hope you've been enjoying this. Tell me your... F <laughs> Tell me your favourite cop thing in the comments. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> This game's funnier than I am. <laughs> I saw the feminist flasher again. <laughs> Nobody's calling him out, which is very good. Honestly, the fact that this fucking nudist is just like... <laughs> Gonna go out in the snow. Yes. Yeah, there, Kim. Tell me about the case. What do you want to know? 
literally anything about it. I can't remember a single thing. Maybe you can tell me what you do know. Help me narrow it down a bit. The guy behind the counter says some union people hanged a man. Then you're not that far behind, actually. Do you want me to brief you? Brief? Yes, that sounds good. Three days ago, the RCM emergencies desk received a report about a security guard who was found a hanged in Martinez. The anon an anonymous caller said there was a dead body behind the Whirling in Rags hostel cafeteria. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but used the words lynching. There is an ongoing labour dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company, Wild Pines. I was told we should approach the death of this as part of this dispute. Does the briefing say who the victim was? A security guard or worker of some sort hide by White Pines. This was just hearsay for March days, of course. We need to find out the truth. I think we know anything about the caller. They didn't identify themselves anyway. The tone was muffled using a device of some sort. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. Why hide themselves? This is a strong dis prejudice against using the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The dock workers' union is the de facto police in Martinez. Now it, it appears they've started executing too. We cannot allow that. Hmm. I'm interested in this sort of cops in a post need for cops society thing. I'm interested. I might have thoughts on that later, but I shouldn't get into it until I've got a better picture, really. And the RCM is. That's us. The Revolt Citizens Militia. With the police in the city. Yeah, they're not. They're not cop cops, they're a militia of some... Like, they aren't... They're ki I don't know how they're tied to the government bodies, still. The RCM, or whatever called Citizens Militia, is the police force you and him are part of. A self-organised peace corps in the operated, occupied city of Rericol. The RCM officers are in their legal twilight, yet its authority is rarely questioned. It's super useful to know this. Okay, yeah, no, that's, that's the context I needed. Um... Because a lot of people talk about just getting rid of the police entirely, and I'm there are the thing is there are things that the police do that aren't just being stooges for the government. Basically, there is things like investigating a murder, find like detective work, like there's helping settle disputes, and this is sort of proposing a solution to that without them being tied to the government that they are a militia whose jobs it is to investigate crimes but they're still kind of got some of the issues with cops i'm not saying like you still have this authority that is laws over people you've still got some like have i unmuted my microphone did i unmute my microphone i'm slightly worried i forgot to unmute my microphone right before a thing <laughs> That would be really embarrassing if I did. Oh, thank, thank fuck. I, <laughs> oh, my girlfriend's messaged me as well. Let me just have a nosy. <laughs> yes, um, my point was... Um, there's so, there is a vacuum that something similar to cops would need to fill for detective work and for other things that I'm not... I, keeping the peace is such a vague thing that a lot of it probably doesn't matter. But, like, having someone there to help stop an argument or enforce some sort of rules to some degree is kind of possibly necessary. But also, cops are corrupt bastards and heavily racist, and the current system needs to be completely thrown out and redone. Um, so, it's interesting to see this sort of, for want of a better word, good cop system in this game, where you're not the same sort of bastard that you would be in most cop games. I should actually, at some point, I have both of the This Is The Police games, which are very much about current police and i would like to investigate those as part of this end of policing by oh that might be a good read um if you know i can ever get round to reading it on fiction book ever again i am gonna write that down i'm gonna you know i'll take a screenshot for myself i screenshotted the game and not the tablet that's 
probably a dumb move. Can I can I screenshot tablet? Tablet? Can you? Is it possible to screenshot? Yep. Okay. So I'll be able to check that again later. Thank you very much for the recommendation, Minerva. Um, because that is a topic of interest to me. It's a what is the solution to this? What has everyone actually proposed? Because I'm of course I don't like I don't like to assume that people don't know the answers necessarily. But I, if I haven't heard the answers myself, I don't know them. Um, oh yes, no, I'm I'm still. Yeah, of course. I'm, our job here is to find the killer. That's right. I think I understand the preliminary information. Would you say this is a mysterious case? Intent considers your answers question moment for answering. No, it's not a particularly mysterious case. Why not? The student shrugs. The deceased is a security guard from a corporation involved in a later dispute. It doesn't make a DeLorean polymath put the pieces together. I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. I was thinking something otherworldly, supernatural. <coughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go down the cryptid route. I can assure nothing like that will happen. You do not know. You do know why not. Are you sure? I think something is already happening. No, something isn't happening because it's not part of... He makes a precise hand gesture. Reality. <laughs> the gesture resembles an orchestra constructor bringing the choir to a full stop. <laughs> so desperately mundane. You need to fuck this case up. There's some. Oh god, I just connected for chat again. This tablet is garbage. I keep missing things because of it. Honestly, I should probably just go back to using my fucking phone balanced on something. Oh, Minerva, you don't have to send me books. That's fine. I, I, I'll, I, the thing is with books, I've had, I've had a book of H.P. Lovecraft books, um, a big compendium of them all, on my desk for ages because I wanted to investigate Lovecraft from a fictional standpoint, and I read fucking five stories at most and then just forgot about it for decades. I am the worst at reading things that aren't comic books. I'm I hate that I'm so bad at it, but I really, I really suffer. <laughs> oh, 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 Minerva, that's so sweet. Yeah, no, totally. I, that's perfectly fine to just send me the Kindle Fire at some point. Um, again, it will be on my reading list for a while, but yeah, I'll very, I'll very much take that. Thank you very much. Assuming, of course, it's a legal thing to do, because if it was illegal, I wouldn't be allowed to advocate for it on Twitch.tv. Um, <laughs> There's something the lieutenant isn't seeing. The universe is too irrational, too morally complex. You should convince him. Three different precincts. Why weren't they the same case? I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a... He considers the phrasing. A pissing competition. What do you mean? You don't know? His eyes narrow. I assumed you were in on it. I don't rem You know what I'm on? A retrograde amnesia. <laughs> Better still than imbecilic cop off. Cop off? The piercing. It's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. If you want my take, ask me how after we've investigated inspected the victim. You should tell me now, this seems relevant. Later. His voice is unflinching. Was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? You mean like a brief? Do you want me to brief you again? No, I'll wing it. There's no reason to wing anything. If you didn't get the brief, that's okay. I did. Three days ago, the RCM emergency desk received a report about a security guard who was found... Yeah, this is the same thing again, isn't it? Shifts with blowings. Make cool, I've heard enough. Okay, then. Was there anything else you wanted to know? Ah, yeah, well, I need for now. Good. Talking about case again. Do you think you should... Inland Empire, legendary, convince Kim that there's a sexy dark mystery twist. <laughs> one, plus one, it was a murder. I'm gonna try this one later. <laughs> um, yeah, especially as you know, I'm kind of a little bit not that convincing right now. I think, I think you should know that I can't remember anything. No response, he just arches his brow. 
He's having trouble processing it, believing it even. I feel like I must repeat this. I don't remember anything. There was heavy drinking involved. Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? What's wrong with personal affairs? Not a fan. It's just the nature of lieutenancy. Oh, time's ticking on, actually. Huh. I just got a note. Yeah, no. Actually, yeah. There's the RCM displayed a self-styled structure called the decompatage as its chain of command. Every lieutenant is responsible for two sergeants and eight officers. That means the average lieutenant has to deal with quite a few personal affairs. Even you know this. I'm completely lacking basic information about even this organisation we're in. Can, can you help me? Fine. He should get you through the first day first. Off hours begin at 2100. If you're still having trouble then, I should give you an orientation. So, what should I concentrate on? Try work. In the case at hand, it can work miracles. I'm, af I'm afraid this is a medical situation. Really? The lieutenant gives you a look, so, so for me, triage. You look fine to me. I'm talking serious, unbelievable damage here. I saw myself in the mirror and I had no idea who I was. This psychodrama is unbecoming of an officer. Clearly, he prefers to think you're malingering. He cannot fathom that anyone could drink so much as to retroactively erase their entire life. <laughs> it's not psychological. Some sort of major brain damage has occurred on an unprecedented scale. Then you should consider seeking medical attention. You can use the radio on my key number to contact your station's Lazarus. Was there anything else you wanted? You seem to be following me. Yes, that's his job. Me? It's you. I don't see how my life is personal to the investigation. Well, what about care if we let one with both? Mm, that's a fair point. All right, for the good of the investigation, what do you want to know? Hmm. <clears throat> You're wearing glasses. That's correct. You feel a slight urge to pull the lieutenant down for this, but you can't muster enough testosterone. No, I don't. Glasses are cool, I guess. As it? They're mostly just cumbersome. Do you ever talk with yourself? What do you mean? You know, when you're thinking, do you ever have conversations with, like, your brain? I have no idea what you're talking about. The lieutenant's conceptualization skills must be rather rudimentary. But this isn't an old school case. I get it, you're one of those old school detectives. Especially. So what? Makes you the new school? God spare us. <laughs> For a reason detective, like, nothing beats a good notebook by the side. The lieutenant produces a small blue notebook and idly thumbs through a few pages. God, I, I they're so good. We all have our different mediums. His is written. I don't want to word this question like this, but I want to talk through this dialogue, so... Yeah. That's because I'm half seal it. Oh, got it. My father's father was from seal. So was my grandmother. But from my mother's side. He shakes his head. It's not an interesting topic. But what is seal? Uh, it's a part of the world officer. A geopolitical entity. And the geographic divergent. I told you it wouldn't be interesting. Seal is a protectionist, isolationist, pan solitary state west of the Insulinian Isola. Actually, it's quite interesting. Some would even say mysterious. Ah. So yeah, he. I think the isolationist does imply some sort of. It's like Japan, if that makes sense. Um, but then this world seems to be different enough from the current reality that maybe it's not a direct parallel, deliberately. Um, like Minerva says, South Korea. Um, that might be it. Um, I, my brain went to Japan because Japan was quite famously isolationist uh, previously, but and also we've got the sort of mysterious Orientalism thing, but South Korea actually makes a lot of sense. Now you point it out. You're making it sound interesting. I want to know more about. Hmm. You're making it sound uninteresting. I want to know more about seal. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't speak a world of sealite. I've never met. Either one of my grandparents, I've never been to Seoul. 
seems also proud of these things. I'm a regular Rackerite. Rackerite. Yeah, fair enough. Mm. Yeah, I don't know much about history outside of America and the British Isles and Europe during periods where there were fucking wars, of course. Um, I know a bit of Russian history because we were taught about um, uh, the f time stuff around the time of the revolution in Russia. Um, Stalin, uh, Lenin, um, death of the Romanov stuff. Um, I don't remember it too clearly. I'm not like a history expert by any means. Um, go to um, Yin or uh, my girlfriend for more people who actually know history. <laughs> but... I was reasonably good at history. I did find it quite interesting. and But in particular, East Asian history, most of my knowledge of that is based on a viral video <laughs> called The History of Japan, which is severely abridged and very much not enough information because it's a joke. The video is a joke. <laughs> like, deliberately. I'm not saying that as a... It's a term. Tell me a secret about yourself. Lieutenant narrows a single eyebrow. No. Okay. That's <laughs> the Lieutenant Nods. <laughs> That's it for now. <laughs> Nothing. Well, time to actually play the video game after <laughs> all that conversation. I guess technically that is playing the game. A of snow melts in this wheelbarrow. A human. The street sign reads, Fuck the police. Good o. The RCM and Martinez. The what young can one I comes up with you? You sound surprised. We don't see a lot of police around here. That's all. God damn it! My chat died again. Ah, uh, save stomach till Kim is convinced of the mystery case. I might do that at some point for laughs. I'll keep a save file so I can do that. Maybe, but um, I'm not saving scumming in this main playthrough. That would that's not fun to watch. Um. I don't see what police are there at all. The place looks the part. There's graffito everywhere. And the traffic jam behind you is completely unregulated. Uh, perception's a cop. I have some que <laughs> I have some questions. Of course. Here. What can I help you with? What is, what is this fuck the police business? Excuse me? She doesn't understand. This street sign says fuck the police. Point to it. Oh, she cranes her neck. Well, I didn't write it, sir. I'm just I'm just sitting here. It's alright, I didn't mean to startle you. Okay, she replies, shoulders relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you exactly? Not me, I'm just a gardener. She hides it well, but behind the sweat and dirt, there is something else in her rigid posture. There's more to you than that. Is it? The quickness of the reply certainly does not prove you wrong. Yes, what are you doing here? I'm working. Working on what? I have a greenhouse in the yard there. She gestured over her shoulder. I've been trying to get some work done. But, well, as you probably know, there's, there's a corpse hanging from a tree there. It smells pretty bad, so I have to take breaks. Don't worry, miss. We're here to clean it up. You can get to work soon. Thank you. She smiles politely. My head is about to explode from all the salts I've had to inhale. Salts? Ammonium salts? Perhaps useful for later. We need directions. Since the street sign's messed up. She nods. Okay. Where is your need? The corpse. Where is it exactly? It's there, she points north. And the yard's right through the hole in the fence. Even all the way over there, there's a drop of death in the spring air. That's all for now. No blobs in. She nods, brushing a fleck of soil off her cheek. Got oh, okay. I'm gonna have to swap my tablet quick. She's very well composed. Back straight. Because, um, sorry, give me a second, because I very much need to just... My tablet... Oh, fuck, everything fell over. <laughs> but my tablet keeps cutting out. So I'm going to just quickly swap to my phone. Using an older method. I hate having to do this midstream. I do apologise, but... Um, quick, just can't see the chat post memes. You thought wrong. Um, 
yeah, I'm going to have to just tweak this quick because otherwise I'm going to keep missing things in chat and it's going to be a bloody nightmare. Damn all the memes! God damn you all. <laughs> I love my audience. Y'all are really good. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to probably... What do you mean? Oh, for fuck's sake, it's linked... I don't have an ad block on my phone. It's just like, oh, go to a gambling site. Do, do it. <laughs> my phone's voice is worse than the rest of the... <laughs> okay, okay. Hopefully this will solve any stream issues I was having. Uh, please, please spam things. <laughs> Quick, just so I can see the chat's working. Successfully. Oh, for fuck's sake. He's going to keep making noises at me for a bit. Sorry. Yep, no, chat's working. Good oh. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck my tablet once more. You go over here. Wow, I just sort of catapulted most of the contents of my desk onto the floor. That was smart. Anyway. <laughs> here we go. I have to run. She's very well composed, by the way. Back straight. Of course. I want to hold you back. She writes her brow with the canary yellow glove. If there's a corpse, then you're going to need those gloves for the autopsy. No, this gloves really aren't my style. I've auto-saved! Pigs go home. The street name is ineligible. Yeah, people don't like me, huh? Not a fan. The pissing competition. NJ Brigi roof of Kim will happen. Call your stations as Lazarus. Go! Close for winter, please use the main entrance. Goods from the lorry haphazardly litter the surroundings. Ooh, cool statue. Oh, you look like a, a fellow that I recognise from somewhere. Jump jams, a posse and music mag mag A glossy imagining most able-bodied men. This issue hosts a top ten list. Ooh, free battery. Free magnesium from the bin. Three T's. Three T's. How idiomatic. Uh, welcome to Revachol. Announced the rotund man. The mark is addressed to you. It's addressed to the lieutenant. This man looks like trouble. You might want to get in this right now. Bloody time later. Why are you addressing my partner like that? Oh, wait, no, I'm going to play dumb. That's funnier. Hey, I know Revacol. That's where we are. Don't you welcome to Revachol me. My grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. <laughs> Fucking burn. Every school of thought and government has failed in this city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. Hmm. Do I play dumb, or do I? You tell him. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. Hell yeah. What he means is fixation on the Revacolian nation means it's harder for Revacol to actually attain self-determination. Stop ripping into this limbo. What's going on here? Oh, come on, man. I just said welcome to Revachol. It's a lorry driver thing. I know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here, that I should watch myself and behave. But you see, I'm an officer of the RCN. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. I would advise you to remember that. Oh, don't be a cop, Kim. Silence. The air between them becomes tense. The stench is getting unbearable. Is there a reason you're bothering me? He smells of heavy motor oils and his breath of high tar content cigarettes. Probably Astro Whites. What was that argument all about? It's about biological determinism. Natural law, the sort of the, the right sort of the races, he spits on the ground. Not the most popular topic nowadays. With the coalition in charge and all that, you might want to change your topic. That is bury your head under the sand like common sheep. Not sheep. Ostriches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're racist. Makes sense. Um, I just want to call this man out. Sheep don't bury their heads. Ostrich do. You get you mix up your metaphors. 
Whatever, go back to your college class, Beano. <laughs> oh, it's just racist. That makes sense. I'm not just racist, look. I've read books. He gestures with his cigarette for emphasis. The science of racial theory has all been proved. Even some people don't want to accept it. People who study these things say that you and me are superior by design. He glanced at the lieutenant. So naturally, the occidentals should be in charge. Obviously, you can see the merits of that. Hmm. Yes, I can only really tell you the prime example of superior design. Open your eyes. Haven't you noticed something different lately? Unfortunately, downturn maybe. Or most of the superior race cease to believe in it in each of the that's not competing for resources. Okay. And? Uh, this concerns you, policemen, so you better be vigilant. The damn kipts are stirring up good lately. Same with the mesquitoes and the other intruder species too. He throws a sharp glance at Lieutenant Kitsuragi. They were the presses of cultural victory. Right, I made up my mind. Want to hear it? <laughs> oh, the man seems mildly disappointed. You don't want to hear his more of his lecture? I'm going to have to hear his lecture in the bad playthrough, and I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I can get down with racism. <laughs> That's... <laughs> yeah, I'm not down with this. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Don't push your luck, run. The man gives you a disgusted look and turns his attention elsewhere, ignoring your presence. Where's the punch button? Looking for something, Rund? Huh? Why are you to tell me to fuck off again? <laughs> yes. Why are you hauling? Not much anymore. Maybe to pick up some cargo, but the dock workers are on strike. So it's sit and wait on your ass situation. What? How long has it been going on then? The strike? They've been there for a while. Month, two months maybe. Yes, it's all those. But this here is just the last week of show. Yeah, you definitely can become a racist. And... I'm interested to explore the implications of that in another playthrough, but I'm not doing it in this one. Fuck that shit. I don't want to be a racist. At <laughs> in my playthrough, I actually try to do good at the, ga at the game, specifically. Um, what kind of car are you supposed to pick up? Apples. Apples are exactly the kind of thing you say about something to hide. Apples. Yeah, apples. I take it you had other questions. What are you hauling? What cargo? Sounds like a cover story to me. Look, I used to check you. I come for a long ride at Lovingman. We've got ancient rights and privilege. He loses his place in from explaining it. I'm here to pick up a load of fucking apples, man. Just read a code co picked apples. Oh, I'm. That's part. The point of me doing the bad playthrough on stream is that I would explicitly have, like, do not do this at home. On the screen it's a way for people to actually see what that's like without having to actually do it themselves because i'm curious but i understand it's in the same way that people do genocide playthrough watch genocide playthroughs of undertale on let's plays but like with racism rather than murder um of course that does mean i have to go through that i am still in two minds about how to handle that sort of thing properly but i'm genuinely curious where this game goes with that sort of stuff. I want to see how far... I like to see how far a freedom in a game can take you sometimes. And whether that is a good place to go or a really, really racist and uncomfortable place to go. The racism will be the hardest part of a playthrough like that. I will be completely honest. Kim's right here. I already love him. Okay. <laughs> Damn, I'm going to get more out of him. He's put up the wall of racism. Okay. So we're right in Privacy Florida. Yeah, a big deal. My great grandfather's Carter had a royal license and everything. Tried to hold her up to our privileges. And that's a privilege? Sure fucking is. We had a guild and everything. Very ancient, very prestigious. So it's a kind of union? Hell no, it's a guild. Invitation only. Unions work for the rich fucks. They're basically the same. Being trying to fuck us out of our heritage and name profits, but you can't replace experience. Trusting street folks with their goods is going to fucking right up the arse, my, my words. Generation of practice ain't no laughing matter. I, I think that's just a fancy union, mate. I think that might just be a fancy union. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, welcome to River Call. I'm gonna punch this guy in the dick. 
Oh yes, by the way, I've got six viewers and 66 followers, so it's the Satan number for me. It's time. <laughs> Yellow roses. Dozens of them. Or two of us, too. Tear machine. The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says, one bottle, ten cents. What is this machine? Kirk looks over at the machine. Oh, that's the tear machine. Yes, but what is it? She gets her brow confused. It's a machine for tear. You know, you find tear outside, like bottles, whatever. Put it in the machine, and it gives you money. Cool. Let's do the swindle. Let's tear swindle. I see. How do I pick up tear for the tear machine? Need a bag, I guess. I used to have some when it came out, so she shrugs awfully. I'm losing this character's voice. So you should find a bag, though. I'm sure some out there. She points on that side, somewhere. Melancholy pop song plays on the radio. A small cabinet of the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, needle sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceuticals logo. The, the logo is the bloodless rose, pure white, untouched by harm. Um, this asking you everything Saint Baptiste. We don't stop prescription meds, but we do have enough for dramine, magnesium, and hypnogamma. I cannot afford any of these, but they're all healing items, so I'll be f I'll be fine. I'm a bit worried about the fact that my RAL has only one charge and my health only has one charge. What do they do? Um, I don't know. Let's see, there's a failure of nail spray. Dramine is a really good painkiller. Magnesium is a dietary supplement. Hypnogamma is. She stops. I really don't know what hypnogamma is. I guess it just makes you feel less shit. It's recommended for you to have lots of partying, studying and exercising. Thanks for explaining. I know Zoe back in the magazine, uh huh? Who is Saint Baptiste? Saint Baptiste, you know. She knows so it's kind of the pharmaceuticals company. Saint Baptiste Pharmaceuticals, the one that sells medicines out of the Saint out of Saint Baptiste. She points the cabinet. That one there. She is right. Saint B Saint Bastille. Baptiste. The company derives the name from Saint Bastille Baptiste the city, self so named. Because that's what it is. A rare case where that really is full etymological history. As far as almost anyone knows at least. Ooh. What's in here? A nice snack? He several packaged raincoats for the low shelf and says crescents and juice bottles. The raincoats are trying to the big fleet slogan on the back. The package is small, discreet, sloppily stacked, making them easier to take than unnoticed. No need to worry about knocking over a display. Hmm. Oh, it's a red check. It cannot be retried. What is what? What is what? The girl learns over that. Oh, uh, it's a raincoat. If you want to buy one, it's only four real. It says in does counter. The raincoats patiently await purchase. <laughs> Attention is drawn to the raincoats. Staying on undetected will now be more difficult. I mean, I'm not trying to rob a woman on my first day at the, the nudist fair. A colourful display of cigarettes and alcohol bottles signed the shop wall, inviting you closer. The bottles wink at you in the light. The smokes, too, glitter in their wrapping. It's like looking into a kind of heaven. Your knees are weak. This is not a good place for a recovering addict. This guy looks at the wall, goes by that. Um, guess not. No. She has a hat. I'm obliged to inform you that alcohol and cigarettes damage your health, but I guess you already know that. Do you sell any under the counter vices? No. She fixes her hair and her cap. Freet only sells legal drugs like the law says. I am a cop. Try to buy drugs. <laughs> Tell me more about these products. Um, the Pale Age Vodka is special, I guess. It's gone in the pale for a couple of years, which makes it super expensive and super strong. What would consuming that stuff do to my body? She says you unsure. I mean, I already said it hurt you. I don't know what else they do. Tutorial agent. Drugs give powerful bonuses to your main stats while dealing damage to your health or morale. Cigarettes raise inter intellect while damaging your health. Alcohol releases physique while damaging your morale. Hmm, interesting. 
Use medication to counteract the damage of drugs. Note, consuming drugs can have unforeseen consequences for you. Okay, I can't afford things. Welcome to Frit. Feel free to look around or something. I've been giving Everything her is out on the shelves. I've been giving her the wrong accent. What's that magazine she's reading? What magazine are you You reading? mean this? She looks at the cover, boasting a colour photo of two girls kissing. This is Pop Stars. It's got, like, famous people in it. It's not for sale. Not for sale. Look, it also looks like it also has something called Police de la Mode, featured on page 34. This speaks to you. I prove this. Very futuristic. Tap on the girls kissing. She pops her raspberry frame of bubble gum and nods. Her shoulders tense. She shuffles back only slightly, bewildering her repulsion root her in place. I am in fact a nude man, complimenting her in her lesbian magazine. Intent frowns at you before turning the clerk with an apologetic half smile. Let's proceed, I have some questions. Um, for okay, I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but she feels slightly down. Can you tell me anything about this reality we're in? Reality? I mean what reality? Economic reality or she is like a student, unexpectedly called one by a teacher. Can she answer the classroom questions? No, I meant the physical reality. I don't know what about it. What time is it? You don't know? Look at the clock, it's right behind you on the wall. The clock shows the time is 10.09. <laughs> no, it doesn't. The hand seems to be still. It's apparent the clock doesn't work. <laughs> what is the revolution? Not only people take over the government and um, demand democracy? What the one we had here in Miracle? Yeah, it happened like 50 years ago, so sorry, I'm not very good at this history, I mean. The coalition, what is that? Our government? Do you mean something else? Sorry, I really need to finish this article. She taps the magazine on the counter. Where are we? We're in Freets. Where are we on a larger scale? As mankind or as a nation or... What will her essay prompt be? <laughs> as, as a mankind... In a good place? She rubs her face, thinking. I mean, science is doing great, and this radio computer thing seems to be playing big. I don't know. She shrugs and throws her magazine back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the other one. I'm curious. As a nation, um, we're in, uh, we're in. Uh, she rubs her face, thinking. We're in a transition, you know, transitioning from a monarchy to democracy, all that stuff. She notes, then throws her magazine back. I don't bother these ones anymore. Cool. She seems happy to return to her reading. Can you make a dead body? Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but I haven't seen it, so... Aren't we all transitioning? <laughs> Do you know the man who died? Not really. Oh, does that mean you knew him a little? Um, no. I didn't know him at all. How long has it been there? I don't know. Really long? What do you think happened? Um, I don't know. We need to worry. The intense voice is soothing and professional. It's just a standard, pr standard procedure for us to ask her. I've lost Kim's accent. Grr, French. Standard procedure for us to ask around. If you hear anything, let us know, okay? Okay. She scratched her nose. Thank you for the help. Ah. Uh, she brushes a strand of hair off her face and tries to return to her magazine. Thanks for all the help. <laughs> They're very accepting of my nudism. I'm enjoying that so far. Although it is a bit nippy out, you see, so I'm actually going to quickly just... I should probably put on some clothes, right? There we go. That's, that's enough, right? Hello, friend. Scab? Asked the man with the jolly eyes, tilting his head. You're hazy on the notion of a scab. It smells like politics, so... Have you got something to do with the class key reaches for from time to time? <laughs> <laughs> Poor downtrodden scrap. scab. Why exactly is a scrap? A kind of a worm, content with mere survival. They come, they want to do our job for shittier pay, screwing over both themselves and us. Everybody does. Where did they all come from? Beats me. Somewhere in the ground, I think. You don't seem to like them that much. Gotta be bloody stupid or freaking evil to scab. 
Or I guess, scared maybe. But scared of what? Of who? He looks at the mask, squinting his eyes as trying to ascertain what they're scared of. Personally, I'd rather beg than scout. If the gentleman shouting on the street came begging, maybe they'd have gotten some. Have you tried talking to them? We've explained the matters, but they don't listen. This lot would be reasonable and go home if the big guy wasn't riling them up all the time. I'm not scared of a cop. I was just messing with you. No one's ever seen a cop scab. He smiled deep and his wrinkles even ever more. Imagine, you cops going on a strike, but then another cop comes in and says, let us cop for less money. He chuckles, then realizes. <laughs> Speaking of, what brings the RCM here to the wild north? Come to see the strife? I've come to Mars to investigate a murder. Murder? That sounds like a lot of hard work. You'll never see me investigating a murder. <laughs> Whisper, I have no idea what I'm doing. He was back. That's okay. I have no idea what I'm doing either. Do you know what day it is? He thinks and then decides, don't tell me. It's a it's the better day that way. I like this man. Call oh, I me mean man. <laughs> man Yan. <laughs> I need to know what's behind this gate I'm exploring. Oh, I missed Glint. Just let me go back to that, sorry. My friend, I respect the right to the open range of wit. The open range of wit. He gazes over the roundabout with a glint of longing. Does that mean you can let me through the gate? I don't operate in capacity. I'm not a grantor of passage. He takes a swig and points up the stairs with his flask, and the passage grants itself. It's so simple, why didn't strike? Strike barriers just go up the stairs. Someone just walk in. I walk right past Measurehead and go in. Pass on Measurehead. Yeah, the two and a half meter tall salmon needs supremacists there. He points to the bridge above the gates. Walk right past him. Right. <laughs> then press the button to unlock the door. Ha. Then go past him again. Okay. <laughs> and then you enter the harbour of the Rosses. It's done. So you're saying it's actually quite difficult. Don't worry, I'm sure it's not completely impossible. For example, you can best measure head in a physical confrontation. Or you could convert to a semi apprentice world view. Oh, hmm. He strikes his moustache. Maybe it actually is completely impossible. <laughs> Has anyone here ever best him in a physical confrontation? No, yeah, no. He fixes yes. his... Oh, hell! Is it... Is, is Lottie? It's me. It's Lottie. Hello. Hey. Is the order okay? People on the other side. It's my girlfriend. Hello. I'm playing the game. I'm going to quickly turn on the stream so Lottie can see. There's Disco Elysium. Oh. I'm talking to a Spanish man, and I feel <laughs> and, okay, I, and I feel like my viewers are leaving for some reason. It's because I'm here. <laughs> I'm, um, <laughs> no, no. I'm currently just I'm currently just searching for uh, companies. To work for. Ah, no, I, I did I, that earlier, I know that feeling. When I, uh, because, uh, I'm looking at, uh, being an ALT, which means I've got to have a look at country, different countries, companies, oh. it's really annoying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've had friends who have done, like, programs like that, um, mm -hmm. I guess Pitch has as well, actually, if you want to make Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at... I'm, I'm looking at Pidge's company. Yeah, um, I've got I've got a friend who's got a company as well. Yeah, I'm, not I'm got. Just that around. makes it sound like she owns it. No, she just. Works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm asking. I'm asking around to see um, what country, what what companies people suggest because yeah. I'm looking at even German ones. Japan. I Good think on. I'm going to do both at some point. Yeah, Japan's very popular it, for that. It, um, it's just going to depend which one I go for first. How are you, my sweet girlfriend? I'm I'm playing. I'm having a really good time with Disco Elysium. I'm also wearing no trousers and no shirt. And oh, why? Not in, because because I'm a detective. You're a detective. Okay. I'm a detective. Okay. Nobody's called me out on my lack of underwear yet. It's fine. Have any of the scabs tried converting to his worldview? The John Luke himself would say the philosophy. That's French. Oh God, my accents. Yeah, the philosophy has proven utterly heroic for the scabs to convert to. Not enough intuition. Got it, another thing. Sure, the man with his jaunty tune. With dashing his whiskers. What's the strike about, anyway? Oh, I misclicked. God damn it. 
back into the conversation. Hola, wondering man. How can I help you? What's the strike about anyway? You know, it's serious business. He smiles. I'm sure the big boss would be glad to tell you. You have to ask him first. He's a chatty guy. Wants to talk about the strike too. Just can't break the command structure and tell you now. Okay, bye. This is a really fun game. So far, I've become a rampant feminist. And I've worn no trousers. <laughs> this is... I'm trying to... I'm investigating too much rather than... It says Grie. The Greater Revachol Industrial Harbour. You know, oh yeah, I did tell the racist to fuck off. To be fair. Oh, hell yeah. But, um... I couldn't punch him. We have a right to work! You couldn't punch him. The man yells towards the harbour gates. His voice is the loudest of the lot. Oddly screechy for a man this size. What's what's going on here? Pull up and stay frosty, everyone! Cops are here! The broad-shouldered alpha male turns to you. He's a full head taller than everyone else here. Here to fuck with us? Be the honest worker down? Why why should I? We're here to fight for a cause. Strikes usually have problems with people who have causes. Uh, okay, I'm thinking no. Good, we're fighting for a cause here. He right to the... work, right to work. He chants at the gates. Besides, we're not that different. It helps the people see us talking. Cops and strike breakers together. Shows authorities are on our side. Builds confidence. He leans closer. I don't think I've chosen any sides yet. Might be time. Don't let the fat bastards print on you. Cops tend to side with the higher up, but you're essentially still workers. Hmm. I don't trust cops, but I can see you understand the right to work. Right to work. <laughs> he raises his voice and chants. This, this, this is an interesting protest to have encountered. What kind of cause are we talking about? Rights of people, rights of workers to have gainful employment to make a salary and feed their families. Yeet. So he's protesting. His manner of speaking is wooden, his tone of voice bland and uninspired. All as if com compiling replies from a set of learned phrases. Hmm. So maybe he doesn't quite believe his weird protest about letting him be a scab. Scabs are gross. Yeah. Yeah. They get with your body and them. <laughs> they won't come off. <laughs> Not that sort of scab, hun. <laughs> I know. I'm being I love you. Uh, regardless, I, I have some you. questions for you. Maybe you should ask them the question. Like, why we're not allowed to make a living here? He Shame on you! He does it again. I'm really bad about the fact the dialogue continues before I get the chance to read things. We have families to feed you, piece of oh. shit. My girlfriend has redeemed the timeout feature. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh, how do I? Where's the time? Where's the? Let me time my girlfriend out. God. Where's the moderation tools? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't typed anything in chat, so it's really hard to time you out. <laughs> 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 Fuck! <laughs> what? God, yeah, finally! You've said something, you fool! You fool! Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I've been sent to the naughty corner. You've been sent to the timeout corner. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Oh, what, what I say? Ah, no, I've lost track by now. Where's your ask then? Shame on you. We have families to feed you. We have family to feed you, piece of shit. He points his finger at the man sitting on the railing. So do we, scab. The loitering man hollers in return. What is a strike? Give him, give him a kiss. Oh, who give kiss? We give the French man a kiss. I'm Smooch not. Him. <laughs> Which one? There's a lot of French people. Ah. <laughs> uh... Call me banana. I'm not kissing the scab. That's bad. Not the scab, the other one. He's oh sorry. The other one. My brain. He he's a he's a man, so no. But um, we're a bunch of ungrateful lazy cockroaches come get their act together. 
Decide to block on his work for other people. He's just uncomfortable in these workers' overalls. What did the strikers want? Beats me. They mumble nonsense about boardrooms and workers' rights. While we, he raises his fist and starts shouting again, have the right to work. There's something odd in the way he carries himself. His set of clothing looks vaguely mismatched. The different pieces of attire seem ill-fitting. Ill-fitting? What does that mean? His shirt is far too small and an unpleasantly tight fit. But the overalls held up by a belt seem to fit a man with much more corpulence. You wear new clothes? He ignores your question, choosing instead to turn to the emancipated workers, raising both fists in the air. The clothes are obviously not his. Science is the answer. There's something off here, but he won't say what. Yeah, so I think... I, I'm, I randomised this character for the record. <laughs> it's not he. Okay. So, um... Uh, I'm very flexible. I'm not very okay. strong. I'm going to go mad. <laughs> Choo! Bless you. Thank you. Any second. And I'm kind of intelligent. And I, I rolled to be good at... Um, I rolled this and I end up with visual calculus. So the only thing I'm good at is being a detective. <laughs> so I'm going for that. This is my trying to actually play the game playthrough. Um, I'm possibly later going to go back and do a, a bastard racist cop playthrough with proper precautions in place to make sure it's clear that I'm not siding with shitty racism. But out of curiosity, but I'm I'm not sure what's going to go on with that yet. Ah, I want to get into the harbour too. Have fun, he snorts. Union shits are full on on full strike. Don't they're going to let you through the gate? You're trying to meet their fat boss. I'm interviewing people about a murder that took place here behind the hostel cafeteria there. I know nothing about a murder, he replies, snappy and terse. Absolutely nothing? Wouldn't put it past these arbor bugs. They'll do anything to stay alive. Right to work! He again shakes his large fist and turns back to you. It's shameful, cops doing nothing. You should bring back up, apply, open the gates for us. Blocking gainful employment for workers is a crime. I don't... I don't know. We're not picking a side just yet, sir. So. Pity. He turns around and bows the gates. Let us work! Who are all these strike breakers? Honest men and women with rights to work! To be useful, not toys for corporate interests. Interesting. Um, the man runs a hand through his steadily greying military haircut. We came here to the harbour run smoothly. A time of crisis. If the union fucks don't... This is a bad voice. If the union fucks don't work, they ought to let those in. Who do we... Who do want work? God, that sentence got me. Who do want work? Did the emphasis wrong? I'm good at this. Is he control... I think he might be controlled opposition Minerva. Honestly. I think he might be like a... F I think he might be a fake. A, he, a plant of some sort. I have a question. Intent looks him in the eye. Why do all these men follow your leadership? You think they follow because I'm big and loud? No, they follow the rules of the market. The rules of, eco of the economy. Because they were, he starts bellowing, given a job to do. <laughs> You've been talking for quite a while now. Something is off with this guy. Ask him where he's from. Okay, gotta ask. ask you where you're from. I know where you're from. I'm. A... I don't need to know that. <laughs> Han. <laughs> I'm having a. I'm having a moment. <laughs> I love you too. I love you too. <laughs> I'm having a bit of a day. No, that's completely fair. Don't worry. I had a bit of a day earlier too. I've only. I've. I've drunk a lot of caffeine because my chat decided to vote for me to drink the energy drink. Which one was it? Um, months. No, not monster. Uh, rain melon. Apparently, I rain has. Rain. I. It's basically just sugar juice, but Minerva insists it has more, like five times the em the caffeine of a Red Bull. So huh. I might die. Um, you won't die. I used to down energy drinks every moment of my life. You. You've, have you seen the clip where I've drunk two energy drinks and I feel like I'm going to die? 
because I haven't no. <laughs> because that I happened. mean I mean your problem there is that you drank two and like monster energy drinks like if they if it was a monster then those are like oh, monsters are horrible. <laughs> those those have those have like ridiculously high sugar content and they make even me want to die. Oh, monster is so bad. Like, I don't know how people drink more than one of them ever. I used to, I used to, I used to drink like. <laughs> I used to buy like big crates of like cheapo energy drinks from Aldi and Lidl, <laughs> and then I used to like. Um, I used to like fucking. I used to drink them like by the dozen, and like I was fine with that. But then I, but then I stopped drinking sugar because uh, my blood sugar levels, and now I can no longer drink more than one Monster Energy drink without fucking throwing up because uh, why are they so sugary? Yeah, I'm never drinking. I did I did a thing which I called the Four Doctors because I could only get a four pack. Um. And I only managed three before I felt so bad that I couldn't drink another one for several days. <laughs> oh no, babe. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Despite my caffeine problem, I don't actually have much of a caffeine tolerance. Don't die. Any? Oh, the game. Okay, I've got to ask. Where exactly are you from? Was it you? Deep set suspicion drops from every syllable. Curiosity. I'm gonna figure out this strike mess. Big mess. Corporate cool union. Greed. He's sure that you're a wary, distrustful one. But I only fight for the rights of people! Already got that. I'm interested in your background. We're all workers, right? Workers stick together. Came from the eminent domain in Jamrock. Backgrounds in odd jobs, every lifting, car hauling, bouts of work. I know the drill. A bouncer? Where? I think there's a lot of bars. Maybe it's why I know. <laughs> Worked at Territorium. Ring a bell? Not right now, but I might have been there. I don't really remember things well. Uh-huh. Was it a long time ago? Maz quickly loses the interest in talking with you. What exactly is your goal here? We were promised work. He points to the gates. We've been in the, we've been we'd be in there working. The bastard hadn't shut the gates. Okay, I want to, uh, are you unable to breach the entrance? Main gate's locked. We'll take heavy ordnance to bust it open. We can try to get through the security office, he points to says. Doors locked, guards blocking the way to the access panel. I don't mean the scrawny mesqui mesqui punk either. He points to the dock worker idling on the staircase. I mean head measurer, whatever he is. Wait, head measurer? Huge Siamese guy, standing Seminese guy. Huge Siamese is what I called them. I could do Siamese. is better. Huge Siamese guy standing up there by the red passage. Won't let everyone by. The access panel is right behind him. I'm back one by B, he seemed capable. Bad, the man glasses you. Selling on a narrow bridge, he's got a strategic advantage, advantageous position, and he's trained. I don't know, the union's trained killer uh, has, has a trained killer up there, but that's one's that one's no joke. My men are tired and hungry. They're workers, not fighters. Why don't you just talk to them? Like civilized folk, you mean? The man has his chin. These native fucks don't understand civilized god. Ugh. It would be better for the neighborhood if you went home. At least for now. You can't get in anyway, says Kim. No. They will give up eventually, or get drunk, leave the button unguarded. Then we charge. Man rubs his jaw, a perfect lightly bearded square wedge. Hmm. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave now. <laughs> Me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh. okay, there we go, I can finally send things again. <laughs> Let's see what this is, Hun. Hun. Yeah? Hey, stream chat. I'm just gonna quickly... Just, just quickly... Just... Just quickly... <laughs> what is this, Hun? What is this? I don't know what you mean. Is this Winifred Poo? This is Winifred Poo. He's got a new haircut. Sephiroth <laughs> Poo. He appears to be in Smash Brothers Melee. <laughs> oh god, you're right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Melee Poo. 
Did he mess me or is that a, that's a stream notification from Nick? Okay. Um, nope, shit. I've got to change back to the actual proper tab. I'm dumb. Um, <laughs> yes, let's have a think. What am I? Because now you're here and it'd be nice to play a game which I could play with you perhaps, but I also I'm really loving Disco Elysium a lot. Yeah, no, don't worry. I can't stay too much longer because I've got to... Valid. I've sadly got to focus on university work because I've got yeah. two pieces of work that need to be handed in by Wednesday and that piece of work from last year and I need to hand those in. So the next two days are going to be... Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be gone with the wind. Yeah, I university work is, work is no fucking joke, honestly. I don't and know then I, And then I've got to focus on getting my dissertation researched. Just going to be... Yeah. I, I do not and still do not know how I managed to get through anything. Um, I don't know how the fuck I'm going to write 10,000 words on cryptids. <laughs> <laughs> what I did when I, I was writing my thing smart. was just ramble for a while and try and cut out the bits that weren't relevant. The issue yeah. is that eventually I reached the point where foreign car kept in good condition. Okay. I reached a point where it was like... Um, I... I I, I reached a time where I had to cut things, and I couldn't, because I didn't have anything to replace it with. I didn't have enough words. <laughs> Which is why there's a section that's very much not really related to my final thing. Hello, Joe. We're hey, Joe. doing a disco Elysium. My girlfriend's showed up. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there we go. That's how you say that. That's how you make your girlfriend feel loved. <laughs> <laughs> I've been bad at words today. I was on a mm -hmm. call with someone earlier. I just broke oh, <laughs> mid conversation. Oh no! Mm. I'll be fine. And Laurie, it's like out of the traffic jam. This big, heavy, grad-made machine is well kept for such an old machine. Look in the window. Grad factory of magnets and miracles. The windows are, are clear. You've, they've recently been washed. You can see a Loriman's camera with personal belongings, sickers, insignia. Fumes of heavy oil, fuel oil waft over you, making your eyes stink. The odor mixes with cigarette residue. What kind of stickers insignia? The driver has adorned his space with a substantial collection of peculiar paraphernalia. Proclamations about honor, strength, and purity are glued to various panels. A large metal pendant. Hang on the rearview mirror. The pen feature sun crowned with wavy rays. I think this might be the racist truck. Oh, I misclicked. In the window. What about the back seat? The back end of the cabin has a small perch to sleep. Large ashtrays. There are several suns and wheels sewn into the curtains. Racist nationalist paraphernalia. He grits his teeth. Not unusual in this part of town. This is our guide. I'm, oh, I'm trying to do the French accent. I'm really doing a bad job. Um, my girlfriend doesn't think he's something else. Possibly to shame me for not being <laughs> able to normal, do a French accent. It, it's a normal cat pick. It's a normal cat pick. <laughs> a, a normal, normal cat, cat pick. It's very normal, everyone. Very normal. Look at that. The background looks like someone tried to make a TARDIS using a neural network. Dang, I'm around that. Please. Please. Girlfriend, please. <laughs> I love you. What the fuck are you doing to my stream? <laughs> I come to bring gremlin energy. <laughs> it's very appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> but why have you changed your username to girlfriend of Zoe? <laughs> These people didn't know her. <laughs> Laurie begins to ask, tough guy. Likely he is. 
This guy's proud of who he is. Drapes it all over his machine. There he is, in front of Freet, smoking nervously, hoping it's over. Hmm. Right to work! Right to work! Shame on you! Not you then. Okay, okay. Sweet angel, babe. I'm gonna have to leave because I need to do the work. I love you very That's much. Completely bad. I love you so much. Thank you for Did coming you say, in. Don't forget your bag. Hmm? Did you say don't forget your bag? Don't. don't no. What did I say? <laughs> oh, I think you said don't forget your bag. I, I love you very sorry. much. I, I thought I said. Um. I love you too. <laughs> I Thank won't you forget my bag on the way out. Though. Don't I'll forget your bag. Me. It's very important. I'll take that with me. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Goodbye. Goblin. <laughs> Bye -bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> That's my girlfriend, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, free money. Kim. No, Kim. I'm trying to get the free money. <laughs> I'm afraid that alcoholic cop man is, um, so far, he's an inexplicable feminist agenda. He has an inexplicable feminist agenda and nothing else. <laughs> but I am hoping to punch more racists at some point. Looking for something, aunt? Huh? Coming to tell me to fuck off again? We're done for now. <laughs> Minerva! <laughs> okay, I'm not... I'm worried about not dealing with this situation properly. Does that make sense? No, I, I want a new save. Oh, can I talk to these guys as well? No, I guess not. Um... Hey! Hola, wandering man. How can I help you? Yeah, not talking to you. Right. Hmm. Wait, did I actually level up? No, I didn't. Um... I'm a... Kim, are you okay? No, he's kids okay. Notice, in case of a strike, press button behind the guard. A hermetically sealed door blocked by electric means. There's no lock picking or door picking in this room. There is, however, money in the way. That's irritating. Measure head crushes all. Got the right stuff, measure head. Measure head's amazing, apparently. Buddy betrays your degeneracy. Hun, did you? What did my girlfriend link this time? <laughs> you stole fizzy lifting drinks, says. I'm going to kill you. You stole fizzy lifting drinks, says. You stole fizzy lifting drinks! You stole fizzy lifting drinks, says. I push you to the ground. You are held there by two surly Oompa Loop. Someone better clip that. <laughs> I did just hard save, to be fair, but I might hard save closer if this becomes a problem. Yeah, measure him. Totally because he's generous. Because the giant side agrees. What do you mean, my body betrays my degeneracy? You have succumbed to a wound. His face contorts in disgust as if he were smelling a dead rat. You reek of it. An invisible soul of a wound emerges from the throat. You cannot see it. But others can. 
It is making the woman in my company sick. Smell your breath. Kim's it really so bad? <laughs> Thanks, Kim. It's like a rat drowned, caught into your stomach, got drunk, and drowned. But, um, Al Goo? Yes, Al Ghul. Al Ghul. He means alcohol. Do you mean alcohol? Correct. My small skull self. Al Ghul is an ancient Ilmaran poison, a parasitic fungus that has colonized your race. It is a trick the desert pygmies played on you for humiliating them and stripping them of their land. Internationally fermented drinks have existed for 10,000 years. The Omar and people did not invent alcohol, it existed since the Neolithic. This is a fabrication the alchemists of Yizot and Bashir and the Holam and Hul have fed the people. No one believing in it, raise loser. I don't think that's how history works. Why don't you have another drink? Your features are not yet congenitally evolved enough. <laughs> God. Oh yeah, measure head. The babe looks at him with eyes full of admiration that transcends the mere sexual. I don't have a problem with alcohol, I just drink a little on the weekends. Your mouth moves, but the one who speaks is Al Wood. You are but a vessel for the ghoul now. Very little of yourself remains. Wait, is the player Al Ghul? Am I Raish Al Ghul? Occidental Aplog Group B4 is done giving order to our deal. The influence of the Am Sandwich Rage is waning. I'm sorry. Am <laughs> Sandwich. <laughs> Does this remind you of someone? The guy down there? Hmm. I don't want to both sides this, because this is a very different sort of supremacy, but also, dude, racist as fuck. Like, Here I'm not a drunk, I'm a cop. Continue to deny my alcoholism. Call him a racist. Use my police powers. Or just say the race stuff is important and I need to do my job. That's passive. He's not going to respond to that very well, I can tell already. I've got to read on the guy. But I don't want to both sides this. Oh, I'm gonna have to go with two, I'm sorry. Look at my cardiology. I am the pinnacle of my affluent. The pink blood is a bad example, even pure. It's sad. You were once a noble and powerful place. He poison melancholy reflection. That's He's got a very specific, interesting view on race. Like, that people were? I don't understand. You gave the world eugenics, electricity, and powerful weapons of war, like missiles and aerostatic aircraft. You made great gains in metallurgy, race theory, and statecraft. Okay, so he respects white people for being racist. Okay. <laughs> you dominated lesser cultures, like the deformed Hemians and the inexplicably potato-obsessed Koikos. But now your ascent to the genetic summit has halted. You are obsessed with sadness and with frivolous pop culture. Hmm. Now this guy's a horrible racist, and he's also being shitty to potato obsessed people he has a weird i am not kissing him lottie i am not kissing this man he what he he hates my race <laughs> <laughs> but like he has a a supremacy thing that's 
He also seems to hate, um, potatoes Kojikos. Minerva has pointed out vodka is made of potatoes. So it might be Russia. I was actually thinking it was going for Ireland because of the history of potato famines caused by the English. Meaning he would be buying into racist propaganda about a, a group of people. Like explicitly. Vodka is made of potatoes only during famines. Okay. I thought all vodka. I thought all vodka was made of potatoes. Or, but um, I'm not a vodkaologist. It turns out. <laughs> and pop culture. Fuck off, mate. You will be superseded. Isn't that right, man? He's also date. He's also got a group of three white fangirls. It is, baby. Yeah. There's a button right behind him. Just out of reach. Must be that one that opens the door to the harbour. Nope, not gonna call it say he's right. Come on, I just need you to move back about 20 centimeters back. <laughs> it is my task to keep the general conscious from entering the yard. Mm. Anti boost thing is a good call, yeah. It's not Delta Toot. <laughs> Look, if your vodka isn't made in a crystal skull by Dan Aykroyd personally, it ain't worth shit. <laughs> Let's try and push this man. You push him out of the way. Right. He doesn't even flinch. You should leave the stage of history with dignity. By inviting the other races to a great world war. Oh, he wants a race war. Bring your troops to the Simenon Islands and to Boogie Street, and we will pulverize you. When you are gone, we will build a museum. The walls will be lined with bottles of Al Wool. Your beloved memory. Inside, we will starve the owls to homosexuality. And your microcephalus Oh, he's a homophobe. There may be a peaceful solution to this. You could internalize Measurehead's race theory. He would take you as one of his own. Wouldn't that mean I'd have to become a Seminese supremacist myself? Oh, yes. Why don't you want to be a Seminese? Why don't you want to be a Seminese supremacist? So, what if you're not Seminese? You can be anything. You serve the Union, don't you? Aren't they white? These tattoos are yours supposed to mean. Hmm. I could subscribe to his thing. I can fail to knock him out. I'm gonna try and defeat him in the in the marketplace of ideas. You serve the union, <laughs> don't you? Aren't they white? Uh, pun. Uh, there's a reason I'm not going to punching him for the first one. I want to punch, but. I've got a bit of a, <laughs> a problem with that, and it's called 8%. <laughs> you serve the Union, don't you? Aren't they white? Don't be vulgar. White or not has little to do with this. The race enigma runs much deeper than that. He turns his eyes towards the harbour, seeming bored with you. Yeah, but you still serve them. How does that factor into your life? Mr. Clare is a man of vision and means. He has the will to confront polycultural capital, something your, ra your race, na navistic communists, never did. Also, to serve is noble. It takes discipline. Your petulant individualism has only contributed to your race failure. It is lax and moronic. I'm no communist. Communism is pretty cool. Individualism is my jam. I'm presuming that individualism is um, a particular ideology that I don't want. My jam is a mysterious fourth thing. <laughs> Communism is pretty cool. 
idiotic communism is the single greatest contributor to your race descent. Everywhere around you, the fruits of its failure to challenge the world order, individualism, rock and roll music, sexually transmitted diseases. Above all, rampant multi multinational finance still reigning large. Tell me, where have you gotten your love of pathetic communism from? He leans closer. Degenerate youth culture? Rock and roll music? It's true. It's true. I am a rock and roll star and a rebel. <laughs> <laughs> rock and roll is moribund. Only cod Kojkos listen to it anymore. There is no life left in it. My people abandoned it long ago. It leads only to neurogenerative herpes and heroin overdoses. <laughs> God, this man is a lot. I am not surprised you enjoy it so much. This has happened to many of the side products of the inevitable cultural victory of the Semimedians. Okay, I'll ask. Well, okay, so who asks who are they? I don't really know who Semis are. I've recently experienced head trauma. <laughs> I need to enter the harbour now. <laughs> I am not allowed to encourage the use of heroin on Twitch.tv, but also that's one of the ones that I do not particularly trust to be used safely in any situation, in truth. That's a drug that kind of scares me. Um... To be fair, I'm a big old baby and most drugs scare me, but <laughs> still, I don't really know what, who the 70s are. I've recently experienced head trauma. I can see that. The 70s are the South Island race. Hapl Haplogroup A4A, the rightful masters of the Insulidon Archip Archipelago. Archipelago. We descend from the Aeropagites of ancient Perken Krangigles and arrived here 4,000 years ago. We are the future. That is all you need to know. So you were born and raised on the islands before you moved to Revacor? Achoo! <coughs> Blimey, I'm all sneezing. Today, wise with that. <laughs> It's just opium with arms. What does that mean? What does the... I am a descendant. The narrow streets of Ulenburg are with me in my genetic dreams. I see young Semenese women walk into the grey mass on Ile de Fantome, waiting on the immaculate conception from the pale. So you did not come from the islands? No, he grates his head. I have heard about it on the radio. So you're not really 70s, you're just from Revacon. <sighs> I am from Coron. Change a second. And no, it is not just in Revacon. This city is central to the same 70s strategy, spreading through its trade networks. Our culture will dominate the world. Okay. Kim, what do you think about this? I think this race is better than the last, but the next races will, really, will be the will be the really good one. <laughs> Kim, you're you're a good boy. <laughs> that will be the that will be our lucky races. I don't know there will be a next racist. There always is. <laughs> Race is reality. Really. I disagree with that. Very much so. Race is a load of bullshit. What are these tattoos you're supposed to mean? Racists are generally not very good examples of their race. He gestured towards the lorry went down the street. Welcome to Revacon. We hear him yell at a red-headed woman <laughs> visiting the free nearby. <laughs> Chat, please. You must think redheads are immigrants. <laughs> I am not like them. I am, I am craniometric perfection. I have taken the trouble to permanently draw a 
pterodactyl grid on his skull and features. This should dispel any doubt. The drawings are precise to look true to their pseudo-scientific ambitions. One thing, however, it is not entirely through, through throwbacks in the phenological tree. His large jaw, for example, could be a trait indicative of criminalism. Also, his earlobes could be smaller. <laughs> I mean, that jaw is... are you sure? I mean, that jaw is clean. Atavistic stigmata. That atavistic stigmata makes pussy say yes, plenty. <laughs> God damn. Babe, thanks. The tattoos on his stone face briefly fall in a smile. But I got this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing this. Because I I know that there's act the point of this is you can't argue with racists. But your earlobes are too big. The size of the earlobes is not a real craniometric criteria. Everyone knows this, of course. He's ignoring the bits of his race theory that your earlobes are flawless, John Luke. Yes. The man full sight, his face motionless. I'm you're you sure I'm not craniometrically superior to you? You exhibit forward projection of the jaw. Indicative of schizophrenia and sexual inhaltability. From a purely aesthetic standpoint, the dimple in your jaw makes you look like a baby. This is not craniometry, it's just an observation. You can sue the jaw of tattoo. <laughs> what else? It is impossible to see any more of your bone structure. It is covered from the ravages of Al what remains of your features, I can see fleshy lips, baldness of the head, and long arms relative to lower limbs. This leads me to conclude, you are not a police officer. You are a common criminal, an offspring of murderers and sailors from Schurler, Schiff, and Vesper, and possibly even a generous sheep herders of the EBI. Interesting, so one of my answers was Sir Sheriff and the other Vesper. Your racial heritage is uninteresting. It is the same as all the rare occurrences. Your parents and their parents made the decision to reproduce while under the influence of Al Ghul. That is the only reason you are here. Anyway, um, what did I just... Did I level up? I leveled up. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm... I want to go, like... I randomize this again because there is a the thing is I'm very tempted to do threaten people no um oh, I like I like the I like the things I would like to use oh Inland Empire is I really want to do Inland Empire honestly because I want to do a weird cryptid -y. I'm ne I have not got enough psyche to do that, really. Physical instrument means I can punch him better right now, but... I don't know how often I'm going to be punching in this particular playthrough, and I'm still paying attention to the fact that I might do a second playthrough where I will punch constantly. <sighs> Look, chat really wants me to punch, and one of chat is my girlfriend. Um... <laughs> So, um, go for it, fuck it. Bested him in craniometrics. See if there's... Yeah. <laughs> no! Your little fist is his giant hand and he's squeezing it. It hurts. <laughs> you must be out of your mind, degenerate truck. The pressure in your hand becomes an unbearable seat. I am a degenerate alcoholic. I'm a... F fuck you! Your pain... The fist cracks in his hand like a ripe apple. The pain shoots up your brain as he's twisting it more and more. The words to set a song have changed, saying... I am a violent drunk. No, I won't fucking say anything. Help. 
critical heal yourself now. Your hand twists in his grip and the plane blinds you until you press the words out of your swollen mouth. Good. He releases your hand. Now leave before you humiliate your homoerotic organization any further. God damn. I've said I'm not safe scumming already. Hey Kim, what do you want to say to me? I'd appreciate it if you didn't force us into situations where I may have to shoot random civilians, because that won't get us anywhere. I'm not even sure there's one bullet in my, my chamber holds even prick that hook. But I was fighting bad, unsavory ideologies. I'm a hero. We're not here on some political quest. We're here to solve a crime. Don't make this decision any more volatile it already is. I can't promise that. I'm telling Groans, but doesn't say anything. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay. I might need to put on more clothes. I might have to admit that I do, in fact, need to. <laughs> I do, in fact, need to wear trousers. <laughs> the shirts. <laughs> Does the shirt actually give me? <laughs> I smell bad. I'm taking my shirt off again. <laughs> oh. Tight around the thighs, tight around the crotch. My good neck. Annoyingly, I it says I can't try like, level up again, only and I refuse to to conceptualize his supremacy bullshit, which means I might have to get buff. Hmm. Inland Empire seems to be some sort of well. Let's see what the description says actually, because I was considering getting it. Also, I don't know the quick save button. That may be an issue. Um, call for dreamers, paranormal investigators, and mental creators. In the Empire is the unfiltered wellspring of imagination, emotion, and foreboding. It enables you to grope your way through invisible dimensions of reality, gaining insight into that which sight dust can't see. What's really going? What do the enigmatic riddles mean to the world fate? At high levels, in the Empire animates the inanimate. You'll have conversations with your clothing, conversations that may change the course of the investigation if you're not thrown in the loony bin first. With Lowland in the Empire, however, you'll be void of imagination and character. And then how will you shape the cosmos? F5, F9, useful to know, thank you, Regnomicon. I, again, I don't want to save Scum. I want to play this game as intended. And I don't feel like the save scumming is how the game's meant to be played, really. I may change my mind later, I may do things like... Nice aggression with the native. Don't let the chief fool you next time. You don't need to be up in his face. Leave yourself space to move. Not bad advice, actually. That's my good trick. Let's talk about our right to work. I need you to be my champion against John Luke up there. Hmm. Hey, C. Yeah, no, I saw you. Have, I hope you have a good time. Welcome to Discourse Elysium. Um. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. I need you to be my champion against Jean Luc up there. He's a potential option, but I don't particularly want to side with the scabs either. Is the truth of it? Can I send this racist up to fight on my behalf? Looking for something, Aunt? Huh? Coming to tell me to fuck off again? Yeah, no, I kind of was, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I'm. I yeah. I basically asked you to let me. I, that was a that was me basically asking. I understand. Anyway, let's gain some experience by using someone's car. Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery bone number fifty-seven. A vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. This must be the infernal machine that toys you from oblivion. The Cupris Kenima motor carriage. Open the door. 
In the cabin, you're welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and a soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. The scent of leatherwork and heavy fuel is always washing over you. Pull out the pull-out toolbox, and the door strips out from the seat and into place. The tools inside are neatly organised. Take what you need, officer. It is going to be a long case. I am not protective of my tools, like some men are. Pry bar. It's nice and cold your hand, heavy, I think. You saw for me all doors and lids. Chain cutters. Hands are long and sneak. Snap, snap, go the cutters in your hand. You can do good work with these chain cuts. Cut chains, locks, and ropes. Especially belts. Take the hand cranked flashlight. It's robust, weatherproof, and well made. Please issue. Blue. Let's see. Let you see things in the dark that you otherwise miss. Push in the flat tools. Put your slides back into its nest. Preheater gauge casts warm glow on the steering levers and the radio on its hook. Run your fingers over one of the steering levers. The white suede feels luxurious on the touch of the metal clutch handle that's so very familiar in your palm. Your fingers waste no time closing around the handle. Clutch disengaged, release the handle, the clutch drops. Right foot yearns for the familiar touch of the accelerator pedal. You have synced with machines with, with the machine's mechanical circulation. How are you, my friend? The smell of freshly treated leather, the lack of dirt and dust on the dashboard, and a neat little brush in the cup holder all seem to be whispering. I'm good, cherished, and cared for in the hands of a tending owner. Where have you been? Uh, um, at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> what? So strange. The machine is not in the bottom of the sea at all. It's right in front of you. Well kept. Why did it say that? <laughs> Good job, sea. I'm proud. Do you know how to operate that machine? You feel an unnoticed connection with the mechanics. Wait, does that mean I know how to pilot it? After a while, you realise science is your only answer. Do you at will with it? Use the clutch and squeeze it again. Of course, it's only in your head. Of course it is. But it almost feels as if the clutch handle is gently squeezing back. The handle is pulled back somewhere deep inside the train drivetrain. The disc is mated to the flywheel again. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers, a radio on a hook, a pull-out toolbox, and the soft glow of the pre-fuel heater gauge. Tap it. You tap the gauge, the indicator pin jerks as if stuck it's in the large orange sector, indicating the engine is warm. Next to the gauge is a red switch labelled heat. There's no use pressing the hate button, he says, and jingles his keys. He doesn't to start with his ignition key. Translation? We're not going anywhere right now. Pick up the radio. <laughs> the frequency tableau lights up and a green button labelled Prime Line glows like a feline eye. And then you hear something. The soft purr of electrical kittens. Radio waves cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Hello, Alice. I'm pleased to assist our colleague from the first to first precinct here. I'm putting him on. Operating the radio is easy. Just be confident. You've probably done it a thousand times. Hi Alice, this is the operator from the 41st Precinct speaking, nice to meet you. This is Officer Alice M Dimitri, Precinct 57. How may I assist you? A voice replies on the radio. <laughs> and the green prime line, a yellow saved button catches your eye. wonder what the lieutenant's default radio station is. Um, okay. Could you have... Could you connect me to the 41st Precinct? I have something I tell you to report. Just a second, officer. She puts you on hold, a static crackling, a static crackling softly like a bonfire. After a while, you hear an old man greet you from the radio. His rattly voice is oddly familiar. 10 to 10 5, this is 41st, come in, over. The cop uses relay codes. You got this, you're a cop, and cops know relay code. 10 4, station 41, I've got an urgent business, over. 10 4, this is 10 5, read a message. What is your status? Over. Just reporting in. Over. 1018. Take your message, sir. I need to report my badge missing. 109. Over. My badge. I can't 
find it anywhere. Basically, it's gone. 10 4, message received. This is a very serious situation. 10 22, the captain. Over. Is this. It, is it him? A dry voice asks in the background. What does he want? So he lost his badge and needs to just report it. He what? He lost his badge? Uh, who is this? This is communications officer Jules Pateau, sir. Over. No, the other one. You mean your partner? Over. What's he saying? He's asking who you are. I'm his goddamn partner. <laughs> <laughs> it's your partner, satellite officer Vic Meyer, sir. Over. <laughs> Did he lose his memory along with his fucking badge? The man in the background sounds like he's losing his patience. Who lost? Who lost his badge? Dick fucking Mullen. Who do you think? <laughs> it's Officer Dick. He tries to speak through laughter. Mullen from the bestseller Dick Mullen, <laughs> the lost identity. Dick Mullen is not your name. It's the name of a fictional detective who would not lose his badge. <laughs> I love this game. Defend yourself. Immediately, they're laughing at you. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, Officer lost his badge. Ha huh? ha, like I'm the first cop to ever misplace his badge. Says this probably happened to other policemen before him and laughs sarcastically. Oh god damn it, is he gonna. F is he fucking kidding? The whole station's gonna be dicked for this. Satellite Officer Vic Mayer is wondering if he might be joking and adds that it's tied to the reputation of the entire station, over. <laughs> Mullen dicked us. Come on, Operator, tell him to stop, this is serious. He's asking you to stop, says this is serious. Of course it's serious, he lost his fucking badge! So Satellite Officer Vic Mayer concurs losing your badge is serious, over. Can just move on, I'm gonna get it, be done with it. <laughs> <laughs> Ten four. I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you're in pursuit of your misplaced badge. Over. Fuck me, Matt. Come here. You got to hear this. Dick Mullen lost his badge. What's going on? Super cop here lost his badge. He lost his what now? <laughs> his badge. He lost his goddamn fucking badge. Can you please stop saying lost his badge for a moment? He asks you to please stop saying he lost his badge. <laughs> Why did you find it? <laughs> yeah, I to. Why did you find it? The room on the other end of the line interrupts, erupts into volcanic laughter. <laughs> Sergeant Olsen was wondering if you found your badge yet, over. Challenging failure. Um, you don't have a comeback, sorry, it's hard to think like this. Say nothing. He's not replying. Looks like he's still looking for it. You can hear laughter in the background. <laughs> and then they have another thing to discuss. Ten nine, come again, didn't get that, over. The animated conversation in the back is making it difficult to hear you. New heart's even for Captain Sober. Ask him. Gun speak gasp there. Ask him who lost his gun to. The room walks, walks with laughter. Sergeant Torsten wants to know if you lost your gun to. Over. Check your pockets. Check your. Holy fuck, you don't know where it is, do you? Oh god, it's not here. Okay, it's gone. Your gun is most definitely gone. 10-9, come in, officer. Did you get my question? We're just wondering about your gun. Over. Oh, drama time. <laughs> Even before you can get the words out, everything gets scrammed in your brain. No, of course I didn't lose my fun. Gun. Fuck. It. I didn't lose my gun. He says he didn't lose his gun. Or his fun. Whatever that means. <laughs> Ask him to describe it. His gun. Not his fun. Just the gun will do. He laughs. <laughs> That would also McLean requested a description of your weapon, over. Miss McLean, Kim, what are you packing? It's a single shot Kelly Kegel A9, an armistice to be precise. Speaking of the radio, it's a single shot armistice Kegel A9, over. He said it's a Kegel 9mm armistice. Armistice? What is he fucking. Clearly he doesn't have any villas anymore. <laughs> Dear God, he lost his gun. Oh my God. <laughs> the man succumbs to laughter again. This really isn't a laughing matter. Matt can face the giant and caught O'Neill by himself, but Disco here made him piss his pants. Oh god, fuck! He lost. Ask him to stab his wiener. I'm not going. I'm not going to ask him. Sergeant Tolson here is wondering if you are still in possession of your genitalia. Over. <laughs> Yes, I lost my wiener too. Just lay it off, okay? <laughs> he acknowledges your joke and asks you to lay off. Lay off, lay off! Tell him we'll lay off when you achieve his goddamn police property that he's been entrusted with. Satellite officer. No, I 
think I'm good. I think I'm good without my gun. No, I heard him. I'm on it. Affirmative. Officer in pursuit of his firearm. And they're static. Oh god, I, the man is fighting back tears. <laughs> Officers need further resistance. Over. Man, sound odd. But there's personal details I'd like to discuss. Uh, okay, 10 4, sir. I hear you really have a question. Over. Wait, before you say anything stupid, think about it through. What was I to think about? I need information, not fear. Hmm. What do I think about? Maybe looking at your straitjacket. Tell him you lost your memory. Be smart about this. Ask if he's there alone. 10 4, I'm not asking a question. Any officers are scared? I, he's obviously not. Oh, hold on. Are you alone in the room? I need some confidential information about myself. That's a negative, sir. I've got 10, 12. This is present there. Over. Uh, have I ever told you about my life before the RCM? Uh, turn 4. Well, that's a... Does he actually want something, or is he hell-bent on disrupting our work? He asked if he ever told me about his days before joining the RCM. For God's sakes, cut this shit out. Time to stop wasting time being a goddamn policeman for a change. So is that lady here? I heard him. So is there anything else? I want to know. I'm, I can't. Please write in my full name in the future. Turn four, repeat message. Did you get that, sir? Oh, don't call me sir. Use my real goddamn name, will you? Uh, what? What is it? What can he possibly want from us? He seems intoxicated and keeps asking me to call him by his name. Mullen's drunk and emotionally aggressive. That's new. Wrap it up. I don't indulge in his drunken antics. Yeah, I... God, I've embarrassed myself enough in front of me. I want to know if you have my badge description right on the You know, my name, rank, date of birth. What? What is it? He's still on the line? He wants to verify the information on his badge. But of course it says Dick Mullen, High General of the Revocodian Cavalry Force. Tell him to stop wasting time. What do you need, sir? Any news about my family? Uh, ten. Excuse me, sir? Over. Just what I've heard of them, that's all. Uh, no, sir, I haven't. You're not really keen on mentioning your home life. So I would assume that things weren't good in that front. Over. Yeah, let's wrap this up. <clears throat> Understood, sir. Over. Turn 10. Tremption for the standing by. Over. End call. Roger that. Turn 10. Over run out. The static ends with a loud click, and everything is silent again. Wow, that went terribly. <laughs> Precinct. Um, you need to connect me to Section 41's Lazarus. Just take a moment, officer. My voice fades out on the familiar radio static. You hear a man clearing his throat briskly in an answer. Goatlib, what do you Goatlib, what do you want? He's carelessly chewing on a piece of hard candy. I was told to call the Lazarus. The people are worried about me. Oh, the man is unpleasantly surprised. It's you. <laughs> Couldn't reach up and grab a tie from a spinning fan without unbearable pain shooting through my arm. Hard to tell exactly what it was over the phone. Could be a combination of peripheral neutral and hard blood pressure. Could be having a heart attack. Or actually, since you're positively surprised you idea, could be both, given your profile. So, uh, wait, both? That sounds bad. Oh. <laughs> uh, no wonder I'm in such pain. I feel like I've been damaged. Yes, probably more ways than one. He sounds very careless about it. Positively breezy. What do I do? Cut down the drinking, pal. That cut off the drinking. The drugs, too. Anything else? Absence could have an immediate positive effect on your health. You know who I am? Yes, this has been no end to the misfortunes fate seemed fit to rain upon me. Sure, should it be came for myself as in who I am? Who you are? You lost your human visage a while back. Let's get on with it. I've got important things to do. I've lost my memory. All of it. With all the damage you've been doing with yourself with drugs and alcohol, I'm not surprised. Look, not surprised. Okay, anything else? What else? I'm not a brain doctor. I'm on the bright side. You've got a whole new life now, is it wisely? <laughs> How do you, I called? I called the doctor, hun. I called the doc, Doctor Nick Scottlieb. <laughs> it's hard to say he doesn't believe you or doesn't care. I think I had a heart attack, and you survived it. Congratulations. Are you mobile? Yes. Even better. 
Anything else, I wouldn't worry about that. I was your age of a connery trouble all the time. Also, death is a natural part of life. Is there anything you can do for me? What do you want, new blood work for you again? Tell you just how bad things really are across the board. You want another rundown of him collapsing inside your body? Yes, I want the truth. You want to stop the real honest god truth? Stop drinking, eat magnesium and vitamin D. Our station is not a retirement home. We don't have the funds to deal with rock stars past their prime. And no, I don't want to hear a political commentary on the topic. In fact, I've got work to do. Some idiots just glued his eyes shut with crying air act late. It looks like Mac Torson. <laughs> It's not fucking quite act like it's super glue, Doc. <laughs> In the five minutes since I called, this fucking man just glued his eyes shut. <laughs> Guess that's it for now. <laughs> the phone clicks. Suddenly you hear the audio from your voice. Anything else I can help you, sir? Okay. I need you to connect me to a civilian, a Sylvie. She may have reported a murder. Of course, what's her number? Can, didn't Carvey Gatti give you Sylvie's number? Yes, hold on. The lieutenant takes a look at his notes. Her number is 00519442298. Received. Hold on, officer. Start slapping a right string on your thighs. Give it a minute. She might be busy at the moment. Takes a bit of time. <laughs> Officer, she's trying to I have Sylvie Mac. My car on the line for you. Yes, hello. A few more voice greets you to the satellites. I know it's been miles from here. Uh, Sylvie? I believe you met before. This is me, a detective in the world in your racks. Oh, right. She recognises your voice almost immediately. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? You quit your job at the world. Why? You mean, why did I leave the bar? You can hear her tense up on the other side. Honestly, I'm not really comfortable discussing with you, sir. Why not? Why? Wait, why don't you come discussing it with me? I, uh, let's, take this. let's just say I left because I needed to get away from someone. Get away from who? You know whom. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Milady. <laughs> okay. Did you leave because of Gato? What? She stops abruptly. No, why would you even think of that? Oh, wait, no, of course it's Gato. Uh, <laughs> he, he, Tommy asked you out. He's saying he didn't. No, so you don't afraid that pig. You have to stand up for yourself. Please don't bring Gato into this. It's none of your business. God, why don't you just mind your own business? She mutters. I've already said I don't want to talk about this. You're messing everything up again. <laughs> Was it you who called the police? No, not me. But why didn't you call? Didn't the corpse any workplace bother you? Well, of, of course it bothered me, but I thought the union already knew about the corpse. I, I meant us. You should have called the police. No one calls the police. You hear union. You can hear her adjust the receiver in her hand. The union would get angry. What do you mean by that? You know. She seems to be looking for words. What the union says goes. People listen to them, and they take care of their own, which is like everyone here. Wait, Kim? You know the microphone. Is she speaking truth? The union is the law. Really? Is the law around here? Legally, no. In reality, yes. He looks around. Martinez is de facto policed by dock workers, the dock workers union. <laughs> looks like there's a limit to my authority there. Uh... No, I, un I understand enough about this. Pushing is not the right decision here. There's something else you can tell me about. Do you know who made that call? No, sorry, I don't. She clears her throat. <clears throat> not a lot of people have phones around here. Cop thieves take the wires. People don't have the money to have the cables put in again. They use the union's phone or the one on the coast. So the union has a phone. There's one down the coast. Got it. It was someone else. The lieutenant makes a note. We'll find them sooner or later, officer, but it just might take a while. Okay, next question. Have you seen my badge? Yes, I know who you are. You're a police officer of the law. 
This exact conversation happened, has happened before. Establishing authority before this young girl seems to have been important to you in the past. Don't go there again. My badge is missing. Have you seen it anywhere? Oh, no, I haven't. Sorry. Real policemen have uniforms too, by the way. Where's yours? <laughs> Not my uniform too. God, I really should look into that. Oh, fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die! <laughs> Have you seen my gun? Please, no, not this again. Everyone saw your cool gun, detective. He sounds like he's on I showed you my gun. And that happened. We were trying to impress some people with it. Everyone was eating and... She stopped her, she did not choose to continue. And what? What did I do? You were waving it around everyone's face, begging them to describe it. You said it calms you. Then you started making suicide jokes. Got pretty graphic. Oh, uh, those again. I have been trying to wean you off them. Off of what? You know, when you put your gun, your actual gun, on your temple and pretend to shoot your brains out. Off of that. People don't like that. Okay. Let's go in the content warnings. Ah. <laughs> hmm. I remember this. You were screaming things like, My brains are all over the walls, pain and red. Won't be seeing it, because these are my brains. I can't see without my brains. Uh, very nice visuals there. Oh. Okay, I don't know what to say. Me neither. Yes, but what happened to my gun? No idea. All I know is next year we're waving around money instead. Saying things like, big bucks cannot lie, and guns can't buy money, but money can always buy guns. It almost looked as if you pawned it, but believe me, I did not ask. She sighs. Have you seen my policeman uniform? Uniform? I never saw you in a uniform. You had your things on? The disco things. I think I got everything I need. Thanks. I hope so. Please don't call me again. Bye. She's ready to hang up. Wait, why does she seem angry with you? Empathy. My feminism helped me! <laughs> Yes, you have obviously done something to upset her. At the whirling in rags, when she was work still working. Wait, before you go, you're mad at me, right? Uh, tell me, what did I do? I can't remember anything. I'm not mad, it's just... I'm the static size. Again, you were so drunk and so emotional all of the time. And then the skewer thing happened. It just made me want to quit. What skewer thing? The stuffed bird. The great skewer. You threw it against the wall while screaming, Fuck that bird! And laughing like a maniac. I think you said it had been giving you shit ever since you got there. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like me, alright. Didn't seem like you had fun doing it, though. Tell me that I was the one who made you want to quit. Yes, obviously. You were the worst client I've ever seen. And I have seen... So many arseholes in this place. I've had sailors fighting, union guys grabbing my ass, kids stealing booze. Once a guy was glued to the karaoke machine every night for two months, but you... She pauses. Go on. I want to know what I did. Well, you were worse than all. Aggressive. Honestly, you were getting borderline aggressive. Even about little things, like not turning down the volume at 3am. I even liked one of those songs you kept listening to on repeat. No more. I hate it now. Hold on. Uh, which song? We Go On by the OO. She sighs. I can't listen to it anymore. You turned it into a parody. Sorry. Sorry about the song. To hell with that song. Then there was your room, your project, an experiment to see how bad it can get in there. I tried to send the cleaner, but you wouldn't let me. Threatened to make me understand. I had no idea what you meant, and I don't want to know. Then you screamed something incomprehensible about churches and the scent of apricots and aquariums. Here we deep breath. I'm sorry. And then I had to deal with your toilet, the one you clogged with police documents, causing water damage downstairs in the kitchen. I won't even mention you waving your gun around, harassing customers, threatening to sing karaoke, threatening to kill yourself. Police documents? I, the ones you, I had to wrench out of your toilet. What happened to them? I damn I don't remember what I did to your damn papers. I don't remember any little thing I do. I don't think there's a way to concern in her voice. Especially when there's a hurricane loose. It's your fault for losing them, not mine. 
something in you wants to immediately forget about all this. If there's a reason you threw them away. Okay, I get it. I wasn't a very good tenant. No, you really weren't. You were simply the worst. I'm trying to show you the world of tomorrow, the great panic at the end. You're the worst tavern wedge I ever saw. Oh, Jesus. I'm truly sorry for everything, Sylvie. God, I, I knew I shouldn't have brought it up. Just try not to call me again and let's pretend it never happened. But when I spoke to Gart, he seemed like he thought you left because of him. Wait, really? No, it's absolutely not true. I like Gart. I really do. Sars. Didn't he cross a line when he asked you out? No, I was actually flattered. I always liked him. It's just bad timing with the corpse and all that. There's a pause. You'll see her on the other line. The telephone cord call around her index. I didn't know what to say to him. Then you came and destroyed the place. So I left without explaining. I should have told him, maybe. I can tell him. Okay, but please don't mess it up. Please don't take out your gun or something. Why was it a thing behind the OO? I'm looking for a song. Oh, was I singing some disco rock too? So much disco and rock. Was I singing the smallest church in St. Saints? Yeah, that's the one. You like to sing that along to the most. That's the one you like to sing along to the most. The later it got, the more than that one came on. Interesting. You said to find a copy though, before you can blast it. Right, thank you for taking me. Take care. You hear a sigh of relief at the other end of the radio. Wordless, the call breaks. Then the audio familiar voice. Anything I can help you with? Ignore Alice and press the button, they're all saved. As always, it's DJ's Mission Flashio, you and you're listening to the Speed Freaks FM, breathing you the hottest, the nastiest, the most vulgar. A flock of seagulls takes off nearby, startled by the roaring radio. Right away, the lieutenant reaches the cabin and turns off the radio. He's not looking at you, as he says. Someone must have been messing with the radio. Or maybe it picked up a random frequency. You wanted the prime line, right? Spreed Freaks FM, huh? Oh, is that what it was called? He's trying to act surprised. <laughs> Go for it. Turn the radio back on while it's still on Speed Freaks FM. Oh, I'm so tempted. This is souped up Moody Garish on the bad, bad mama's boy for the heavy of food and freaky and. God damn it. The lieutenant moves quickly as the viper as he switches off the radio and sets it on prime line. Then he turns to you. Look, it helps me to stay alert on long nights, okay? It's a method. I'm not some kind of speed freak or. He shakes his head furiously, setting his feet. Sure, you don't have to explain yourself. I just, I'll just forget about it. Thank you. His eyes glide over the plaza, making sure no one heard the sudden blast from the radio before he turns back to the cabin. This is Precinct 57. Can I connect you to someone? I'm done with the radio for now. 57th over and out. I waste this bit into the void. Whew. Another long conversation. Thought complete inexplicable feminist agenda. There is something you need to see, sir. We found the remnants of an ancient artifact lodged in a hypothalamus. It is a cylindrical object, piss-weathered and smelling of liquor. The paint is peeling off, but you can clearly make out the letters revolutionary feminist agenda on the hull. It appears that you, some time ago before you became a joke, were an actual feminist. Somehow you've come back to that conclusion. You come to that conclusion. Perhaps you can work your way back. Ooh, empathy could evolve into RFA. Electrochemistry would have to quit drugs to get there. Yeah. Hmm. You know? Yet again, I continue to be an inexplicable feminist. <laughs> also, I've gained all these tools. A red-tipped pry bar has cast some TT heavy duty engraved just below the handle. It is satisfyingly heavy and perhaps one of the most useful tools to carry around. The meanest looking pair of cutters you have ever seen made in Gotwald by Worsham World. No chain, wire, nor barbed fence will ever stand in your way again. They look hungry, ready to chew steel. A police flashlight bearing the logo of Grimsel and RAO. 
the small dynamo packed in this handheld illumination device theoretically gives you a tiny amount of electricity anytime, anywhere. Who made the call reporting the crime? Track down my badge. Track down my gun. And talk to Gart for Sylvie. Hold tap for a bit, and I'm gonna, yep, yeah, just. Most people go to bed after nine or long after. It's interesting. So there's a time system. It's like a. I always call it like Majora's Mask, but that's a bit. Um, wrong. Uh, Real mature man. Not exactly what you're trying to accomplish. He crosses his arms. You do understand you still owe me money, right? Damn. Your feet thought we got away. Oh, why is this money, anyway? What are you, brain damaged? Since I woke up, I have trouble remembering even the most basic concept of reality. Money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room, or, peeks into the ledger, or eight bottles of potent blend and nine packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. Proceed, show the coins you found. Is this money? <laughs> <laughs> Where can I get money? Are you serious? From your work? I don't know. You can take bribes, I guess? Yeah, it's a little bit ten. I'm sorry, I don't think cops take bribes. Some new take recompense. The lieutenant is dead serious. We only need to survive. God, my voice went... Why do I need it? For survival? To pay me? Unless you want to become a hobo. Do you want to become a hobo? There's nowhere else to say in Martinet since it's a cold spring outside. Money doesn't make you happy, but it lets you be unhappy for a bit longer. If you run out of money, you die. It's like that for all of us, me too. So I need you to pay me. He stops getting most say it's most himself. I'm not an asshole. Doubt. I'm gonna show him my one dollar thirty-three. Yes. It is. Count them and give it to him. That's 10 plus 10 plus 20 equals 40. I'm now down by 40, right? 40 cents? <laughs> no, you see, there's two times twice. That's 40 cents. Cents are in form of colors between 100 times smaller than the real. I'm not going to have to take, even go to take this. Come back when you have 130 real. 100 times small? That's horrible! It is. He stands silent, looking at the coins on the counter. Isn't it evil? The order of magnitude between what we've asked the person and what they have. Darkness rides. Pick up the coin. It does, doesn't it? There's a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pocket of his orange barber. I'm sorry, I know it was... No, I'm not... I, I shouldn't... <laughs> I'm sorry, it was important to run. You have to understand I was desperate. You know what? The stupid drinks you had are on the house. You know why? Because I know you can't pay me. Not because you ran away. Of course, I um, I still have to charge you for three nights in a broken window. That's a hundred square. So thank you for your cooperation. Don't thank me yet. You still owe me a hundred real. If you don't owe me tonight, I can't let you up there. Points upwards towards your room. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> That's bad. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to ask for a drink. Talk to Sylvie. She left because of me, not you. Wait, what? He looks up. What about the bird? The bird? Yes, the bird. I found it lying on the floor with a broken wing the morning she left. She didn't break it. I did. I threw it against the wall. You broke the schooler? His face flushed with emotions. A rash covers his neck. Are you sure you it was him? Why on earth did you have to break the schooler? It's a mystery. I can't believe I was trying to show it to In words, she was trying to send me a message, some sort of hope and all. A tend type of hope. Something stirs in me. Perhaps this is why you broke it. Alright, Can you say anything else? Something about me, you know? Can you say something, anything about me? Hmm. I could save her from this relationship. But. She said she was fat. I'll tell the truth. It was fat. It was just a fat time. Really? Man doesn't know what to say. He wipes his brow and stays on the counter. I should, I should, I should give her a call then. 
Thanks, I guess. I'll give you a short nod. Was there anything else you wanted? Or I was sort of hoping it would be a gun or expensive jewel. At least a sword in it for you. If you could deliver the message or... Oh, anyway, I'm going to sing karaoke here. Absolutely out of the question. <laughs> Absolutely in the question. First we find a sad banger. Then we sing this place to shit. Your body is ready, sire. I've seen something at the world. God, I we need to talk about. So the silence and metal is reserved for the Union? Apparently I did. I've lost track of it. Yes, yeah, not the whole damn Union. Thank God. Just the nastiest and loudest faction. He tosses his head in disdain. They come here in the evenings, dumb, unruly types. They never did shit. But they're good customers. They place big orders and always pay on time. It gives you a meaningful nod. We should find out who this loud faction is occupying the booth. Loudest needs talkative, and we need info. How do we find them? We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. He looks towards the booth. Men are hungry. Even striking men. If not today, then they'll be here tomorrow. There are these things called days. You sleep between them. He's saying they'll come after you've slept. Just, just making clear that you got that. There's something else I want to ask about. What? Um... No. About that money I owe? Let's talk about something else. We ain't talking about the money you owe me. Good, good, good boy. Good. It's like, by the way, where is home? Your dress is coming up blank and this place sure isn't it. Do I even have one? If you've only been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights, where were you before? You had to be somewhere. I don't know, near? South, maybe? You really don't know, do you? I only have a vague blackened image. A vague blackened image doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Can I trace the way back somehow to the exact street and exact number on a building? Oh, I don't care. I don't care. Fuck everything, hobo cop. Very, very tempting. You can trace the number back somehow to the exact street, exact number on a building. Lonesome, long way home. You can try. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street or apartment will appear. Run some way home. Let's rewind. Let's trace your drunken steps back home. Jump across the raised channel bridge southwest of here. Fall over. Get up. Get on the asport in 20 minutes. Shuffle your feet through the courtyard, scaring little, scaring little children. Go under the great motor track. The 1868. Until you, 881 to reach Le Domain Emington North Jamrock. The streets are frozen this time of the year, caked with ice. Walk down Main to Perdition, the side alley there, and your footprints in the mud. I'm curious about where they'll take me. I know a lot of people go with Hobo Cop, um, which is part of why I'm more curious about what happens when you're not Hobo Cop, even though I don't really understand that either. Pay for damages. Find out who is in the union box. Okay. Hmm. My issue here is I really want to boost Inland Empire because that's the one I'm having the most laughs with right now. But I don't really know how easy it is to get experience points yet. And I need to boost physical instrument to punch that man in the face. <sighs> yeah, no. I'm gonna have to go physical instrument for now. But I will go with Inland Empire the next time I level up, probably. Also, I'm gonna save. Oh, I should have saved before the thing. Whoops. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, I'm making a new save in that case. Meaning that I can repeat all that if I really need to. Oh yeah, I've got, I've got things on the map. Measure head. I can go back to measure head. A better round five. Okay, so I will never be able to win that. Encyclopedia has got better. Physical instrument is potentially there. Inland Empire needs to be legendary and needed to get Kim on my side. Major head conceptualization. 
I'm not doing. And physical instrument I would probably do. The dishes are drying. They smell of chemicals and pine trees. Money! This aroma of spices, alcohol and tomatoes. I like that the colours indicate which of your types of thoughts they are as well. <laughs> the, a thin man is smoking behind, below an exhaust hood, occasionally sipping from a mug. This must be whirling good cook. He steps in and nods towards the table and says something in a completely foreign language. The only words you can make out are Gorashi and Gubek. Okay, it's definitely not his name. Whatever you do, please do not call him Gorashi Gubek. Please. It's not funny. Ah, Guasi, I have some questions to ask. Mr. Kubek, I'm here on a political business. Hello, sir. Got a few time questions? <laughs> the man puts his cup down and applies something, his left hand drawing arcs in the air. You've got some impressive pots there. He smiles and bangs his ladle against each of the pots in turn. It's almost like music, especially with the sounds of assorted dishes. Boiling and simmering on the stove. I don't think I need anything else. Stay masculine. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. You see a heavy steel door with a prominent dimple lock that's painted blue attached to the door. And the cobalt blue surface feels rough to touch. The stainless steel is door flush with its frame on every side. Old cobalt paint, rough on the fingers. 40, 50 years since it was painted, maybe? It leads to a side building adjacent to this one. The old building next to this, half ruined. Whatever it is, must be older. Try to push on the door. The door does not budge. I wonder where this door leads. You do? Lieutenant regards you with patient skepticism. There's a door in the back of the kitchen. Why do you care where it leads? Hmm. It's part of the whirling in rags. There's something in this place that makes me want to know. Eccentric, but okay, I suppose we could look into it. Just a side investigation. <laughs> the door and the main investor will merge into a stereo investigation. If you say so. He looks at the door, then at you. Garte is the person to ask about this. The cafeteria manager. The secret passages. I'm a detective. <laughs> it's me. Detective. Hello again, sweetie. Sweeties. Sweetie needs money. Do sweeties get money? Her expression kind says, oh, sweetie. I had a conversation with the manager over your financial troubles. When did you get your next paycheck? You've got guns of steel and a chiseled jaw. Somewhere with that bloated alcohol layer. <laughs> Somewhere with the bloated alcohol layer. Maybe she'd like to sponsor you. Nope. Why does this game want me to seduce a, a, this lady so much? What is a paycheck? I haven't seen any paychecks. You must be joking. He pauses with though our pay does sometimes feel like a joke. It's not easy to earn much a decent living wage when you can have Song Union behind you. Maybe you should talk with Evart about the Eastern Union. Interesting idea. This Evart sounds powerful. Maybe you can wrangle some coins out of his pocket. I hope you can be my sponsor. Oh, I sure you make a wonderful gigolo. Dear, with those strong arms of yours, but welfare checks aren't all they cracked out to be. My husband and I are barely scraping by. Okay then, let's change the subject. Oh no, I'm so sorry, I don't have money for you. Anything else I can do? I'm gonna have to ask her about the chair. Yes dear, I'm a paraplegic. A paraplegic is someone with limited or no ability to use the lower half of their body. Paraplegia is caused by spinal cord injuries like falling from a great height or a grenade explosion. <laughs> hmm. I want to be rude. I want to apologise, but this will get me feminism points, I'm fairly sure. There's something inspiring about a woman on the front line in her platoon of men. No dear, I'm not quite that old, although I was injured in the di line of duty. Were you a mountaineer? Nothing so glamorous, dear. When I thought I was young, I dreamt of planting the Revacolian flag on some figurative peak. What did you do then? I was training and developing... A de a de I was a trained development manager in a rapidly expanding mail order shoe company. I think it'd be a safe job, but I had to be everywhere and well. Once I happened to be under some faulty scaffolding. I was lucky. 
It was always 20 years ago, and I think I was compensated exceptionally well. One can only dream of such payoffs nowadays. She runs her hands over the chrome wheels of her chair. I'm sorry, it was rude of me to mention the wheelchair. Let's move on. That's quite all right. I'm used to people asking questions. I know they're thinking about it anyway. I'd like to roll with me. Uh, lights up. Whatever do you mean? Um, and I think he's... Wouldn't you be my wheelchair partner in fighting crime, riddling hackers and corpses, catching sequence killers? Sequence Oh my, she sounds impressed. But I think you already have a partner, sweetie. The partner who needs you to help him get a corpse down from a tree. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. Kim, of course, I forgot. I had to know. I know, I know. But also, it's side mysteries. Sequence killers and forays into paranatural. I can assure you, with absolute certainty, there are no sequence killings taking place in Martinez. <laughs> Now, gentlemen, no need to squabble. She turns to you. I wouldn't much use you anyway, sweetie. Why? Three heads are better than two. Thank you, but... She looks out the window wistfully. Martinez isn't the most wheelchair accessible place, you see. I'd slow you down. Oh. No. Get wheelchair ramps everywhere. That's my new goal. <laughs> i got to get going now, though. Of course, dear. Good luck with your case. Oh, I want it, I want it, I want it. I... Um, another thing at the whirling. There's a mysterious blue steel door in the back of the kitchen. Oh, yes, that door, sure. There's nothing mysterious about it, it's just a door. What's behind it? Do you have... No, I don't have a key. I don't know how to get there. I don't care either. Now, I've been wondering for about it for ten years. It's just the Freet Warehouse, probably. Just some boring storage space, a bunch of old junk and dust. Junk and dust. You want to just across the counter and check with dirt. Are you ap attempting to maintain an air of indifference? It's absolutely not convincing. I think you like to know what's back there. I'm fine. Okay, a little. He shrugs. My job doesn't leave me time for wondering about one locked door in one of the cafeterias I manage. So I haven't opened it. I have cleaned the whole place a hundred times over, though, after the animals. And I haven't found a key, so good luck with that one. Okay. Bye bye. Quick save. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, come on. Pry bar. Let me. I've got a pry bar. I wanted, I wanted to a pry bar. Bonkers? I wanted to do breaking an entry. <laughs> well, on the plus side, I've got a load of experience so far, so... Okay, I'm gonna go face the... I've got a few things. Pry bars only work if the door opens to Yeah, fair point. Let's see if Kim has any additional things to think about. Come on, Kim. We're going into my bedroom. Oh, shit. Kim tries to not look at your broken down bathroom door. Kim tries to look at a pile of tape wrists on the carpet, or the weird suitcase in the hat rack, or the potted plant dying in the corner. There's all just too morbid to ignore. The man is finding it hard not to trip on the tape and not to send any bottles rolling across the floor. I'm... I did it my way. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> Fucking... You're looking at this destruction? He nods. I'm... Sorry for this. No problem, officer. He takes a step towards the door, like he'd like to leave. Oh, my. The bed is cold. Not particularly inviting, but it's yours. The sheets look awful. Go to sleep, comes away with a knife for the nine o'clock. Okay, yeah. Ceiling fan. Pull on the light bulb. Bring it on. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. 
You feel something in your chest. Natural pressure. It's spreading to your left arm, your jaw. Um, so I'm guessing this is bad. Very, very bad. This is the end, bad. Try to remain conscious. All you feel is pain and weak, so you have to surrender now. We all do. It gets so dark. You don't even see her face like you always thought you would. You only see pain and fear. Cox suffers final heart attack. <laughs> Good job I quick saved! And Edward Lindley, the RCM, passed away yesterday. His death, though abrupt, did not come as a surprise, though he was the heaviest drinker I ever met. Captain Plenty Price, the deceased superior officer, commented, That ain't easy on the ticker. You love his liquor, sure, said Jake Chester McLean. Right. Well, for you, uh, he th for even had a heart attack, his heart was broken. According to the official statement given by RCM, the officer on the brink of solving a murder case. F9? F9? <laughs> you couldn't get this with you couldn't get a heart attack and die from turning on a light within five seconds of starting the game. Jesus. Okay, so now I know that I really need to boost my health and morale and get more morale medicine because I can just die as soon as someone breaks my morale. I'm gonna have the conversation with Kim again, but I'll try and speed through it. Because I want to keep that result. Yeah, just sort of. Make sure I still get that. A uh, new quick save in case I fuck up again. Don't turn on the light and die. I've left the sink running. That's terrible of me. Can't pry bar this door either, I guess. A mirror hands in the bathroom wall. It, your face adorned with the expression. Yeah, not going to get in. Use your chain cutters to fix the faucet. Stop steam from fogging up the mirror. <laughs> I've got the chain cutters in my hand. What do you mean not in hand? Heard about the band OO. Yeah. Uh, it belongs to the new, the third decade of the current century. Even though, the, although. Enough time had passed from the failure of the revolution that, for a fleeting moment, the free market economy seemed like the ultimate, uncontested way of life for our species. <laughs> Things were good. It was smooth sailing. People made gold and champagne tinted interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style. But more importantly, disco happened. Forget about ostentatious orchestrations for Revacol, your city. That meant only one thing. Gula me de million. It doesn't rhyme. You're not pronouncing it right. I'm not pronouncing it right. Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music and open air, Bolte de Nuit, somewhere in Revacol West, Gulame's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit, then he made the expression. So I adopted it. Why? Everyone loved it. Maybe you thought some of the stardust would rub off on you. Maybe it did. Either way, it's all gone now. Only the grimace remains. So I need to add a clicking sound to make it click. The click is used to spur on a horse. It features heavily in Gourmet Le Mignon's regional mega hit, Don't Worry, Your Pretty Little Head. Sometimes you add, to add finger pistols to your mix because, unlike Gourmet Le Mignon, you are a police officer. and It's your nifty little way to say, I'm armed and dangerous. How long ago was the new? There's a vast ocean of time between right now and the expression. Looking good on you, or anyone. Two decades if the calendar is to be trusted. Humanity has run aground in that time. It's a different world now. The expression is a relic. Anything else, like who I am? Why did I become a cop? Why did I drink myself into oblivion? You have some understanding of near history of disco, plus the trivia you picked up along the way. Episodic memory, however, remains in the dark. It may never return. You should prepare yourself for that. Does this have anything to do with your ostentatious orchestrations? Not really. Oh, it must have just stirred in your mind. They're more like a disco rock band anyway. <laughs> I guess that's it. Guilherme de Million. Whatever happened to Guilherme de Million? Who with his amber maiden sparkling teeth beguiled attacked his remains in the nation? For you suffered and suffered. Did you dematerialize into a cloud of cocaine dust? 
They simply sand the corner and melt into the sundering new lines of some starlit beauté de nuit twenty years ago. This bear fought for his great ass, too. Or wait, maybe he became a police officer in River Cole West. Hmm. Head in the clouds. Let's have a think about this, shall we? <laughs> have a quick think. Not going to do electrochemistry. Not going to be able to fix that. But I'm, you know what? I'm going to quickly just see if I can get the, um, oh, it took it out of my hand at some point. Okay. That'll be why that's not working. But even now, let's give it a try. <laughs> the chain cutter slip out of your hands. You attempt to twist the force into place. Well, you know, one thing for sure, you you've probably never been a plumber. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> map okay yeah it's still like no you can't do that hmm i'm gonna quickly do an actual save um i'm i'm gonna have like 700 saves by the end of this because i'm not keeping track properly but um it's quite late hmm <laughs> Quick thought. So I'm getting I'm getting really good stream numbers on this, and I'm enjoying it a lot, and I'd like to keep going, but my throat is kind of like um I'm having my throat is starting to dry up a lot. Mm. So hmm. I'm not sure how long that'll take, basically. But um You know what, I'm gonna do a vote I'm gonna do a vote between uh I'm gonna keep playing this, but after the quick break I'm gonna have because I don't like ending on a break, that's ridiculous. But con how much continue? Uh hour or two more or just punch a fascist <laughs> i'm gonna go on a quick break here's a poll i'll see i'll see y'all in a bit i guess oh wait there's no music playing okay i'll do the i'll do i'll do the music i had set up earlier Again.
good. Are we? Are we back? Oh, so bad. Frick. Um. <laughs> okay. So what does the what did the poll say? The poll says just punch a fascist. That it. Okay. <laughs> uh, Guillemillion. William Lemillion. William Lemillion. Okay, I'll try and do that. Well. Democracy has spoken. So it's time that we go just punch a fascist then, I guess. But, um. I am a bit like. Oh, there's a. Oh, I see. There's a accessible wheel thing because there's a. She, she lives. She stays in the hotel. So, like, of course. Yeah, I was also going to possibly try and do something with that worker. Oh, new guy. Okay. It's all about money, you know. Go spend money to make money. Money's not really matters. But this man, I was very. I'm very tempted to do something with him quick. Because I got wake him up. Or I could steal his ID, and I'm not sure what the benefit of stealing his ID is. In truth. Oh fuck, I'm zombie RB. Don't worry. Um Yeah, I'm bad at this. But yeah, all I did was walk downstairs, don't worry. But yeah, this guy. Um a sleeping dock worker. I can wake him up now, and I can also steal his stuff. Huh. There's only one way to wake up wake this bone idol from his slumber. Roar like a hurricane. Rip the beings from the building. No words, just a primordial scream. The thirty-something man slowly lifts his head and gives you a pensive look. What are you yelling, man? Looks like a set of sealed descendants. Lots of SEO dock workers around. You're alive? You looked out of the count there. Wait, well, it's just sleeping. Seems pissed off. What do you want, officer? Is he having any dreams? Thank God, no. Is it fathomless dark which ought to be deferred, like corpses to muzzle again? Worker stares at you, eyes dry from sleep, a web of wrinkles covers his tanned forehead. I know what you're talking about, kind sir. I don't know what you're talking about, kind sir. When I'm out, I really out. No corpses, no mausoleums, just quality time. <laughs> Shh, Minerva. Shh. I've I've committed. Tell me about why pines. That's the name of my employer working on just a bit. He doesn't sound too enthusiastic about this. How's that going? How's it going? The lock will need to be yawn and stares at the cafeteria's terrace doors. Some fingerprints glisten on the glass. I haven't really noticed what's going on outside. I'm, I've almost never been outside of this building. Good. He doesn't dwell on the particulars of existence. We're in the middle of a strike down the harbour. Trying to force some sense in the executive board of Wild Pines. For, what I, for one, I want to use more shut eye in the morning, so that his eyes and sides. Right to work, right to sleep, I say. Why are you sleeping here with the others on strike? They got it, Major has got it, he's guarding the gate, I'm just getting some sleep. It was. The way he says measure head implies ultimate trust in his head wrecking his physical prowess. It's kind of organising the strike. We are the workers' union. We know what we need, what's right for us. I mean, there's no leader? Oh, I guess there's also River Art. He's in charge of the union, he's smart, and I negotiate. He's got our back. What about the dead body in the yard? Yeah, what about it? You, you seem cool with it? Do you have many of those hanging from trees here? You know, people die here every day. Someone's found in a ditch, you know, everyone falls in a manhole. No one gets eaten by stray dogs. Yeah, but if someone has to die at the top of a tree, and how's it my concern? Someone has to look into it. So I met someone. Tell me what you know. Tell you this. The trouble's ahead. Yeah, pretty solid feeling the man's not just mouthing off. He's strong, but even he has reason to be cautious here. Hmm. What trouble? You heard what I said. Draw your own conclusions. That's all I know, and I prefer to keep it this way. He turn gives you a little nod, then makes a note in his blue notebook. Yours? Point at the bottle and spilt rum. Indeed. Help yourself to some. He blinks. Wait, no, it's empty. Sorry about that, pal. I already had some. It's fine, rum. Knocks you right out when you drown a bottle down a drown a bottle or two. He has his face and buries his hands. You can hear a faint snore. 
All right, I'll let you sleep. The Doc Locker doesn't answer. His head is already back down the table in sweet sleep. The fingers find their way into the shackle, flicking open its spring-loaded gate. The metal loop holds the plastic ID in a leather-bound pocket. And the man? The man emits a loud snore. Is he about to wake up? Doesn't look like it. You never know. Better be quick. Does the lieutenant see me? No. He's looking the other way. Uh, perhaps purposefully. <laughs> Swipe through the pocket and take what's inside. Oh, whoops. You find black paper note with a woman's profile. It seems a woman lived centuries ago. The note says, five real. It feels nice and greasy. <sighs> Oops. Oops, I didn't get the implication. Yum, yum, money. Think of all the things you can buy with this. The sounds in your brain fire with glee. Didn't mean to rob a man. That was an accident. I mean, I, I meant to rob him. I meant to rob the plastic ID card, not his money. He slipped the plastic ID card in the loop and pocketed it. The man continues to snore. Just for the record, you look nothing like the man on the document. There's even Doc has little to say about your actions. He remains silent. God damn it. I've become cop. Just so you know, you look nothing alike. <laughs> good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Glad this game lets you quick save. Like, it's only fuck. Look, no, I'm don't don't steal from impoverished workers while they're on strike. He's not getting dinner today. I can't believe it's snowing again. Yeah, we wouldn't watch the falling snow and slides. It felt like springtime. Yeah, no, she has nothing to add. Let's see if his ID helps at all. Run past the racist. All the counter protest weirdos. Right to work! Right to work! Shame on you! No, I'm not going to use this guy. That means I'm siding with him officially. Look. Come on. Up we go. Time to beat this man, fight this man with a super villain allergy. F5. Someone clip this so my girlfriend can see it when I punch a man. Your race descent has only worked him. Oh, oh, I'm gonna try the ID card. I know it's not gonna work. But the other answer is fairly not work. Man looks at you, silent and moving, his eyes burrow into the remnants of your soul. You are not Santiago. Santiago is not you. Even the phrenically impaired can see this. Gave you a chance, buddy. Fuck. Time to. <laughs> Again! It, ha it has happened again! The Titan is your fist, locked in his hand. He's twisting it. Another fit of criminal rage. The present on Eura, already broken hand, becomes unbreathable. Who are you, in your own words? I'm a cop! Endurance. He's something in your chest, an unnatural pressure. It's spreading to your left arm, your jaw. Oh, it's, it's half burnt. Oh, God. No, it's many years of combined self-neglect and self-abuse. Let it all go. There's no shame in surrendering now. We all do. It gets so dark. You don't even see her face like you always thought you would. You only see pain and fear. Yeah, no. I died again. <laughs> Quick save back up. Very good. This is... Like, even though I don't think the intention is to... to... force your way through things... Your it's place like... descent has only worsened since I last saw you. You have really let you <laughs> I 
I prefer this. It's like your race has got worse. Smack. <laughs> Just like that, instinct took over. The solid strike straight into his throat, into the cartilage. He could sway through the soft pallet break. The man is reeling, gasping for air. Time stands still around you. In the distance, the sound of the harbour are falling silent. All you hear is a small gurgling sound of trickled blood as the man's lip. What should I do? Back up and pour form a 360 flying spin kick. <laughs> the man lies with a dull thump like a broken down puppet of muscles and sinew. Remember, he's chosen to keep head up, dazed eyes looking at you with unimaginable surprise. To your left is the button. Welcome to Revishall. Fuck no. Disco Inferno. Press the button. <laughs> As you slam your fist in the button, the man collapses entirely, his head rolling to the side. Looks like you're the new measure head now. No one's the new measure head. Let's go. Before he gets up, the lieutenant makes haste towards the door. Is there anything back here? No. Can we pickpocket measure head? Like the cop we are? Oh, I've, I've gotten stuck in the railing. Give me a second. <laughs> Good game. Not not complete force. He's just, he's just still dead. Yeah. Hey, Kim. What do you think of me punching a man? Yes. <laughs> Plot drugs on him like a real cop. <laughs> Well, I punched a man. I wasn't... I'm, I'm gonna save here, so we're on a nice cliffhanger for... Honestly, either Wednesday or tomorrow, because I'm really enjoying this. This is so fun. This is such a... This game is so good. I've really, I've really enjoyed this game. And although we obviously can't stay up all night, like I would, would probably do if I could... There was a way of not... If you hadn't voted to stop me. That that's a it's a real fun game. I'm looking forward to playing this a ton of different ways. I'm 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 trying not to be too too much with my streaming in truth because like I I do get a bit <laughs> I do get a bit over enthusiastic about streaming last week. Um, I think in hindsight I might be feeling the effects of puberty honestly because of my hormones being upped somewhat recently and the blockers going away um the they only prescribe them for like a few weeks after an injection thing so my emotions might be a bit wonky because of that in truth but um <laughs> that's completely irrelevant really thank <laughs> i'm just gonna wait is this clip gonna be oh you're gonna hear this you a chance buddy is this yeah is this this was the failed you clipped the failed one you clipped the failed one. <laughs> Thanks, Minerva. <laughs> Not the one where I did a cool backflip. No, no. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for attending the stream. I do this on, I do this on Wednesdays and and Sundays definitely. I don't necessarily do it on other days. I need to pick a raid target, and I don't know who's streaming as always flippity doodah you <laughs> so be smashed too thank you <laughs> i need my clips okay our pa okay so both squid punk and nip nick are going uh, <laughs> nip <laughs> don't tell nick i called them nip um <laughs> But I always feel like I go for the same people if I'm not careful, so... Hmm. This is why I want people to recommend streamers for me to raid sometimes, because I do feel like I end up raiding the same people again and again, and it's like... They appreciate it, but it's like... Yeah. Um... Oh. I have... I'm having anxiety about raiding someone I've not raided before as well. Oh dear. 
flipping coin. It's Nick. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna raid Nick. We need a, a um Oh yeah, Ellie, yeah, no, if she's running, I'll I'll see if she's going. Cause I've been mean to watch some of her streams actually. Yep, she does appear to be live. So thank you for the suggestion, Minerva. I guess I'm raiding a person I went to get round to. <laughs> I believe she does like. She has like. She does like. Um. A... YouTube poops. That took way too long to get out of my mouth. Um. She seems cool. I'd be wanting to watch her streams for a bit because I'm curious about um whether I I because I, I like I like to watch people's stuff, like. <laughs> YouTube poops and video essays is a a powerful combination. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you all her way, probably, and I'm probably gonna end up watching her for the first time as a result. Um, but yeah, thank you all for, for joining me in my chaos zone. That's a weird way of putting it, me. Uh, raid phrase, yes, I need a raid phrase. Um, I've, I'm... <laughs> Disco Inferno? <laughs> I guess. Disco Inferno? Oh, was my phone. My headphones fell out of my phone, so I was. Shush. I want to listen to the. Oh, it's follower only chat, so actually we're not going to necessarily be able to. But, um. Eh, if you're following her already, shout things. Right. Thank you very much, and ta -ra.